Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of The Leo and Danny Show. First things first, let's just get that like out of the way. Subscribe if you haven't. I call them stowaways, Leo. Mm -hmm. The people who watch our podcast but aren't subscribed. You got to Google that you got to put the name in every time. It's ridiculous, guys. Just subscribe. Stowaways. Bilge rats. Also, we have a Patreon where we put out an extra episode of this show every week. Yes. Now, moving right along, Leo, please introduce the guests. We have a mother and a daughter on the Leo and Danny show today. One being a porn star, Mrs. Robinson, and, of course, Amber Blake, who has an OnlyFans. So, please uh, check out their stuff. But we're going to get to the bottom of uh, their lives and what they're doing here and why they do what they do. Leandro could be viewed as the general manager, not just of this podcast, but maybe also the Danny Mullen regular channel. He's found talent such as Rat Dick Ralph, Cigar Guy, King Croc, and now he's brought in these two lovely ladies who are both involved in the adult trade. Yes. He brought them in. They came in giggling around the side of my house. I don't know where Leo and they were before this podcast started, which begs the question, what did you try to pull, you sick fuck? I mean, look, uh, Mrs. Robinson hasn't done one thing on camera Mrs. or in Robinson. Real life. Yes, Mrs. Robinson. Mrs. Robinson. This is because people who know Leo know that Leo has a sugar mama named Mrs. Robinson. Yes. So uh, look out because... Okay. You might be the second Miss Robinson yeah. <laughs> to pay his bills and polish his pickle. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Robinson light. <laughs> um, I, I would take her on a nice date, all right? And whatever happens afterward happens after consensually. We'll have some fun. But, you know, Mrs. Robinson and I, we're going to get a nice dinner, maybe some uh, maybe some uh, seafood at Catch LA or something like that. Do you, uh, Miss Robinson, do you see it as a red flag when a guy has to specify something's going to be consensual? <laughs> Isn't that an odd thing to slip into casual conversation? <laughs> And I'm sorry, Miss Robinson, I don't know if it's our headphones or her mic. I can't hear her quite yeah. enough. Okay, can you hear me now? A little yes, better. A little Is better. that better? Yes. Yeah, right. it? it just doesn't yeah. go any closer. Yeah, yeah. Am I good? Okay. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, I haven't been on the dating market. Okay, we, we still, we got to get yeah, talk into that right in there, yeah. I haven't been in the dating market for about four years now, but I okay. do know that people talk about consent. Even when we're on mm -hmm. a porn set, they say, can I touch you here? And it go. is kind of a new thing. I mean, obviously we're on a porn set, right. um, but I roll with it, you know, so I think it's normal now. You're an old school gal, though, I'm gathering. If you're attracted to a guy, if you're in the bedroom, you're ready to get down to business. You don't need this UC Berkeley handbook style. At every stage of the escalation, you must ask if the woman is comfortable and happy. You don't believe in that, do you, Miss Robinson? I do. I do not. No. It's it, the, for me, and this is probably very unpopular, the consent for me is once, hey, do you want to come back to my place? But gotcha. then again, if they're doing something that I'm uncomfortable with, I would say, hey, I'm not down with that. And I'm. I think I'm old enough now that if someone's doing something, I'm like, fucking stop. Like, I'm not, mm -hmm. I have no problem speaking my mind. Speaking your mind, maybe raising your hand and giving them a swat. Yeah. Men can be disciplined in a very same way that uh, one might discipline a puppy. So yeah, we're, uh, we're good at taking instructions yeah. as well, you know, in the bedroom yes. and, and all that. I mean, I think uh, there's a lot of ladies out there that don't understand that. But I think once, uh, you know, the, the older women in my life, have always known that giving it a guy directions, like a guy like Dino, for example, he's going to need directions, yes. Mrs. Robinson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dino, even with directions, I don't know how much good that's going to do. Oh, my Dino, God. I, if, I would love to. We need to do this, Leo. Sure. We need to clock this guy's mile time. <laughs> <laughs> you know what my guess is? <laughs> that's hilarious. What do you guess? I think his time is a big slash I for know. unable to finish. He probably wouldn't finish a mile, absolutely. He I would collapse in a... <gasps> hyperventilating Aww. heap at the end of the first lap. I just uh, I had an odd uh, thought of Dino eating pussy. It's maybe weird. he could do that. Yeah, he might be able to. I mean, maybe. What's his technique? Do you think he has some weird... What do you, what's Why your technique? Why the fuck are you thinking about this I shit? just said, It just came to my mind, Dino. I don't know. It, it, it's, I wasn't for it. It just happened. Uh, you know what? I think the best thing you could do, Miss Robinson, because you're a woman who knows what you want, and we're right. going to get into your career. Of course. We're going to review some of your pornography. Yes. Miss yeah. Robinson does full-blown XXX adult film. Films. Right. And we're going to watch a scene of hers with Johnny Sins today. Mm -hmm. It's going to be great. But I feel like if you went back to Dino's parents' house, yeah. the best way to utilize him for your pleasure would be to ride his face like a Sibian. Okay. 
Has he been taught, you know, alphabetical, just do the ABCs, you know, when you don't know what to do? You know, I think, I think yeah. he smokes so much pot, his mouth is going to be too dry for tongue use. He's, he has permanent cotton mouth, absolutely. So You better just use his nose as a sort of clitoris <laughs> stimulation device. Oh my gosh. Just hump that nose until you hear a crack. Exactly. If you break his nose, good. it's going well. Yeah. He needed, Do you build know some he character. would be my first non-porn sex act mm -hmm. in years? I don't hook up and I'm completely celibate outside of porn. Why is that? I'm not interested. I feel like wow. I'm all fucked out. I mean, that's the, the blunt answer. You're I was fucked like, out. Yeah, like I was at home in my teens. I think a lot of people were. I went to college. I went to grad school. And What was a hoe in your time in your teens? Mm -hmm. Um... Having it was like the friends with benefits thing, hooking up at the bar, having sex, saying goodbye. I remember one time this guy pulled out his guitar, and I'm like, <laughs> I was tired, and I'm like, dude, I'm a sure thing. Put the fucking guitar down. You said yes. that. <laughs> yes. You said verbally, dude, I'm a fucking sure thing. Yes. Put the guitar down. Yeah, like I don't want to hear it at all. Use it, save it. And he put you it know? away, and he, he put fucked it away, you. and we had sex, and that was it. And oh. it was back in a time, and I think it's kind of still like this, sadly, where. It's not okay for women to have casual sex. And I don't know. I just, um, I'm focused on my career. I don't know if I could be in a relationship and do porn. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know, but I'm not there and I don't date. I'm not interested. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of focused on, this is a big business. I have an LLC. I have a team, mm -hmm. a media team. I come from that background. Um, my mom's sick and dying and... You know, I, I don't know. I just have a lot going on. So I don't hook up. I don't date. And the only sex I have is on screen. So it's always really good because mm -hmm. I'm like, fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Were you married? Yes, I was. I'm when did that now. end? Years ago. Um, eight years ago. Eight years. And you mm -hmm. had a normal job when you were married. What were you doing? Yeah. So I was a teacher. Um, wow. Well, first of all, when my daughter was growing up, I was PTA president. <laughs> what? Um, yeah, I was... It's funny, they quoted me in our local paper. I took her to a Miley Cyrus concert and they quoted me as saying, Miley Cyrus was repugnant and she's not a good role model for our children. Wow. Mm. Yeah, somebody brought that up. They're like, oh yeah, how did this age? Mm. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I mean, now I'd fuck her, but mm. uh, <laughs> you know. People um, change yeah, is the bottom line here. And, you and changed. I, I did, but what happened, it was like a really wild process. I spent my entire life worried about what other people thought. I hmm. really mean that, like to such a degree that it debilitated me. And, you know, I went to grad school. I got my master's degree. I ended up teaching for a while. And then I had kids. I have another child um, who's 16. And um, then I decided to go in a different direction. And if you ever watched Mad Men, did mm -hmm. you ever watch that show? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Leo's never Absolutely. heard of that program. It's it's my favorite television show. I'm slightly obsessed with it. Are you really? Yeah. I worked in Don Draper land. So wow. I worked in the ad, the ad world. Mm -hmm. And I ended up um, retiring as a senior software exec in the ad industry a little before I turned 50. It was almost two years ago. I've only been in porn for two years. So you have money outside of porn. Yes. You have retirement money. You have an IRA. Finances aren't an issue. This no. is something of a passion project for you. It's a business. Everything to me is marketing. So what I did was I took those skills from what I was doing because I worked with Fortune 500 companies. I was like a road warrior. I was on a plane every week going wow. and teaching them how to do a media strategy. And were you screwing around with guys Never. when you were on these business trips? Never. You were still wow. married. Um, I would... Half of it, yeah, but no, never once. And that's what garnered me so much respect within the industry because it's a man's world yeah. in advertising. And you were faithful to your husband all those Absolutely, years. yes. Mm -hmm. I'm not a cheater. Um, I was still like chaperoning trips for school and, um, you know, the quintessential suburban bubble mom and sure. um, never would have done what I do now then. I wasn't in a place where I would be okay with people thinking I'm naked on the internet. Mm -hmm. And then um, after the divorce, it like crushed me along the way. So Miss Robinson, the divorce comes and you're still in your mainstream yeah, Mad Men esque career. Yes. You're crushed. How many more years do you remain in the mainstream business? Uh, maybe four. Four more years. Yeah, and, but it was real. I was getting tired because I am fucking old. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest. How old are you? Can 50, you well, I'll be 52 next month. Not that um, old. Yeah, that's not that not old. old. That's yeah. an early retirement, most would consider. It is, but now there's like this gilf porn, which they're like, "Will you do that?" I'm like, "You should hit not... up your mom for that." Yeah, <laughs> my mom's dying. Of She's cancer, dying, so. Danny. Did you miss that earlier? Some people are into that, Leo. Yeah, we do know yeah. that. There's some sick bastards out there. Yeah, Dino no. could Dino could be in cancer porn. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> 
Do you know 100% you look like you had a couple of bouts with chemo uh, already? Miss Robinson, just spitballing here. Your mother in a hotel room with our camera operator, Dino. I mean... Uh, too Never. unspeakable <laughs> to even joke about. Yeah. Miss Robinson. They said that no matter what you say today, they're not going to walk out. So you're lucky because that was close. That is nice. That's you good had, reassurance. Their, their mother's dying and you asked them to take her to a hotel room and have Dino have sex with her. That was what I was implying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is actually it, it's taken a little bit of the sport out of it, knowing they won't walk out. But yeah. I'm, I'm going to stay enthusiastic. Miss yeah. Robinson. So you and your husband <laughs> she loves that. get divorced. There's four rocky years. During those four rocky years, you decide, you know what? My heart's not in this anymore. I've climbed high. I've got some money banked. How much money did you have banked at the end of your mainstream career? Um, enough to retire comfortably. What is that? I'm curious what that is. Is a guy who looks to the future and wonders how much it'll take for me to retire. Yeah. I mean, I would say, um, you know, many, many millions, I guess. Right. Many so, millions. Yeah. She she did she did well. I did really yeah, well. Yeah. In my she career. she probably invested well early too. Did yeah, you invest? I in, did. Okay. And I'm very and I'm very frugal with money. Mm -hmm. But it was never. This is going to sound crazy. It was never about the money for me. What I did, I loved what I did. Mm -hmm. And that fall apart time, I started like investigating into like some Joe Rogan esque type mm -hmm. um, ways of dealing with grief and um, PTSD and mm -hmm. things like that. So I went the little the route. Flotation tanks, mushrooms, ayahuasca. Ayahuasca. Yeah. Ayahuasca. I did ayahuasca um, five times and it changed my life. Were you still working in the corporate environment when you did this? Um, yes. This is something that's come to my attention lately. That a lot of these high level tech multimillionaire professionals are starting to do real counterculture-y things, Leo. Oh, yeah. Like fucking Tim Ferriss and Peter Thiel are going to Peru and dropping ayahuasca doing Molly in a therapist's chair. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like there's this new like like tech elite who is just putting drugs in their system. But and Miss Robinson is one of them. I'm sober 18 years. So Except for was, ayahuasca. No, I don't count ayahuasca and that and there was gotcha. a big thing to that too because my sobriety date is really important to me. So there's of course like a California group of people who are in 12 step programs and I got together with them. I said I don't want to lose my date and they they said you'll understand some people go to it to trip and whatever your intention there, I never once felt like I was tripping mm -hmm. and I've done shrooms and, you know, LSD a ton. And mm -hmm. I, obviously I was, you know, if you've ever seen dope sick, like that was my life. I got wow. hooked on Oxycontin mm -hmm. um, for legitimate pain. Mm -hmm. And that was the downhill spiral. And in your personal relationship with your husband. Prior to that, no, it started very young at 18 because mm -hmm. I had endometriosis and I had this debilitating pain and, it escalated. Oxycontin came out. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's a wonder drug. And my doctor said, you can't get addicted to it. So really, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, and then I'm 98 pounds and six feet tall. And I was strung out. And so I got sober. And it was really important to me to be able to maintain that sobriety date. And I was like, the risk is worth it to me right now. And they were they would tell me, you know, you'll know if you relapsed afterwards. And I didn't feel like that. It never felt like Oh, groovy, man. It was all painful and vomiting and mm -hmm. um, it like saved my life. Sounds awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes just a good throw up will save your life, Leo. Do you know Absolutely. that? Absolutely. The body purging itself. Miss Robinson, we're going to move off this topic shortly, but you said you had many million saved. Is that north or south of five million? North of five million. So that, for anybody wondering, is a plenty of money to last Miss oh, Robinson yeah. for the rest of her life comfortably. Leave uh, leave some for Amber Blake too. Yes. But I'm also an only child, and my parents will leave everything to me. They're still alive. Oh, wow. My dad's eighty. My mom's seventy eight. Uh, well, if so. if we shoot this Dino porn, maybe she'll kick the bucket quicker. <laughs> and, out of uh, happiness, hey. hopefully. The, out of happiness. Uh, he's tongue. I'm saying it'll do some damage to an old body. Hopefully it's it's a, it's a positive thing that we're thinking about here. Yeah. Miss Robinson, first of all, congratulations. That is awesome. That's got to give you an enormous amount of um, freedom, I guess, mentally and physically. Now that your traditional career has come to an end, that allows somebody to experiment with pornography without right. feeling stressed, yes. or worrying about who's going to see this or what's going to happen. She's if got fuck you money. You have fuck you money. Yeah, absolutely. I do, but I, I really do. <laughs> Up until today, this moment, I've always tried to keep it on the low because I am a single mom and mm -hmm. um, I live in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh mm -hmm. isn't progressive 
Like That's why I wore yeah. this for you, baby. Yeah, and I brought you guys terrible towels. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank you. We remember, you know, uh, we remember these. You know what Roethlisberger did with one of these? Yeah, he wiped his brow after he threw a wonderful touchdown. No, he wiped the jizz off the body of an unconscious hotel clerk in Tahoe. Mm, I thought it was a college girl. That was in Middle Milledgeville. Ah, so. Two-time offender. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Two-time mm-hmm. Super Bowl winner. Two-time, yeah, yeah, he's big time. So, Big <laughs> Ben, um, you know, Mrs. Robinson. Yes, Leo. Um, yes, uh, what did Ooh. what was the first uh, energy? The, well, the first time that you thought, you know what, I'm gonna do porn. I, can you take us through that? Yeah, it was yeah. really wild. So I was at a bonfire right before I turned 50, and this there were a bunch of us there. And what kind of bonfire is this? I live in Pittsburgh. We don't have much to do. Mm-hmm. So it was like a little mm-hmm. campfire kind of thing with a bunch of acquaintances. And COVID had just hit. No one had anything to do, so we were all sitting around this campfire and. We should, yeah, was, we should hook her up with a steel mill guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, we do need to do a video with her in Pittsburgh. We've done a Pittsburgh video. You should watch it, Mr. I Robinson. will. I, I understand you're a huge fan. There's a lot of videos. I get it. Yeah. But yeah, we'll send it to you. Yeah, we watched the fat girl one and we didn't like it. So we were like, mm. we got to find a better one. And we just ran out of time. Mm. But, yeah. that's, that's a very odd attitude. The first video you saw was the fat chick rant. Yeah, that's no. what they Googled us and they got that. You know? Yeah, we that's, were like, yeah, we can't watch this anymore. So, uh, well, let's just not go there. I so, told yeah. him you were on the Adderall that day. You were just feeling feisty. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know <laughs> that's lies. I'd been working on that thesis for six years. <laughs> you can was, call it my masterwork. That is not true. He was out of his mind that day. <laughs> I have to say hey, that. Hey, everybody sees different people differently, but yeah, yeah going in, there was this guy there. He was an acquaintance of an acquaintance, and he's like, "Hey, have you ever thought about doing milf porn?" And I said. I have a career, a master's degree in children. I would never get naked on the internet. Like, mm-hmm. have you met me? Like, uh, that's not me. I'm not a Karen, but I'm never doing that. And he said, come here, I want to show you. My wife's making about two to $300,000 a month on it. And I was Jesus. like, excuse me? <laughs> he said, I need a stepmom for her. And um, I was like, yeah, that's, I, I, never, I wouldn't do that to my children. Um, at the time, I had a 14 year old and I'll raise 22. I'm like, I'm not doing that because I don't care how it affects me. Although I cared how people viewed me, I didn't want it to affect my kids. And I went home that night and tossed and turned. And I was like, oh, man, like this guy's in my head. And the next day at dinner, we sat down and I was You like, sat down with this gentleman? No, I sat down with her. And, and just this guy who suggested this idea, his wife was having sex with other men. With him. With him. Yes. And it was an OnlyFans arrangement? Yes, just OnlyFans. So this was recent. Two years, you said. Two years. Okay. Yeah. And um, I said, what do you think about mom doing OnlyFans? And she was like, yeah, mom, go for it. Like, if that's what you want to do. Wow. I mean, her generation is a little bit different than my generation. Amber said that. Amber said that, mm-hmm. yeah. So and Amber, yeah, you, you just... You didn't mind at all. You didn't care about the repercussions about maybe your friends seeing it. Your boyfriend, your ex-boyfriend, your best friend. Well, I just like if, if I had friends that would judge me for that or judge her for that, then they're not my friends. Hell yeah. So I just, Hell yeah. I just want my friends and family to be happy. Dino would have judged you for it. So, you know. <laughs> I think I could handle that. Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> but all, the whole time in the back of my head, I had been, one of the things I came up with in my like ayahuasca thing was... You really need to stop caring about what other people think because they Mm. don't fucking matter. You're almost 50 and you've spent your whole life being the perfect cookie cutter mom and um, professional. And I did everything literally perfectly and not perfectly, Mm. but like I just I was looking for something and she was like, well, what about my 14 year old son at the time? Mm -hmm. And. Like, yeah, so I've raised my kids. Put them in the child porn. Well, Jesus so anyway, Christ. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I um, raised my kids super open minded and non judgmental, and that was really important. I was very involved in their lives. And um, he came up to dinner <laughs> and I said, What do you think about mom doing OnlyFans? Mm-hmm. Your son. My son at 14, mm-hmm. because we're very open. Mm-hmm. And he spit out his water and said, <laughs> Mom, I mean, I love you. And you're, you're pretty. Mm-hmm. Mom. Aww. Yeah. I'm sure his but, friends remind him of that constantly. Yeah, Not at all. unfortunately. Wait, I'll get there. Mm-hmm. He goes, but do you think they want to see that? No. <laughs> and gestured mm-hmm. at me. And I said, you know what? Um, No, I don't. I don't think they want to see this shit. But because um, in my mind, society wants to see young girls, teenagers. That's what I thought. I hadn't looked at the logistics of the metrics of 
Pornhub and how MILF is way up there mm-hmm. and oh, yeah. cougars and it's big a time. big deal. And I said, but I'm hearing they do. And he said, get that bag, mom. And I was like, mm-hmm. oh, mm-hmm. I said, you know what? Here's Thanks what to getting. Jake Paul for saying things like that to the 14 year olds. <laughs> can really gather that mm-hmm. information, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, yeah thank him for that. Mm-hmm. No, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to come back to you in a few days because this is a really big deal because I cared wow. more about him walking into school and having... Yeah. So that's a few days later. And what was the Jerked appeal to, to it? Was it? Was it strictly a financial thing, the, the potential of making two to $300,000 a month? Or did the adventurous part of you that maybe you felt like you were suppressing that ayahuasca had unleashed... Was it that part of you that made you want to try this? It was a little bit of all of the above. I'd been looking for a way to get out of corporate America and be on a plane every single week. I was tired. I was worn out. I was leaving my kid all the time with my parents. They were getting older and dad's not in the picture. And so um, I hated leaving. It didn't feel right as a mom to me to do that. And I'm like, is this the fucking answer? Holy shit. And I kept thinking, what are people going to say? What are pe-? And I'm like, no, that's what I'm not supposed to worry about. So three days later, I went back to him. I go, listen, we're going to have a really gross conversation. Um, I said, it's about OnlyFans. He said, yeah, how's it going? Did, and had you already had the birds and the bees talk with your son? Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he, I was he didn't believe in the stork still. Were you guys sexually, op- as a family, sexually open as far as talking about it? Absolutely. How mm-hmm. would you describe that? Yeah, it was just open and honest. And I mean, I was a goody two shoes, goody two shoes kind of child, mm-hmm. surprisingly. Um, so like, I was never like much of a concern, I would say. But she talked um, with my brother about it as well, and mm-hmm. he's a little he's a little more wild than I was. So it was there was more like she was a Sunday school teacher on her own, decided wow. to do that, and. Um, Dino, was, see, you can relate to this story. She was a choir teacher <laughs> on her own as a kid. For eight um, years. For eight years. Like, and got good grades. Never oh. got in trouble. Like, ever. It was the most... And I was a wild child. So I kept waiting. And I'm like, what's going on? I got in trouble once. Yeah, once. That was it. I was like, excited. you're grounded. <laughs> she was excited. Years later that she was like excited that I got in trouble because I had never done anything. Nice. <laughs> Mrs. Robinson, when you sat your son down to give him the nasty talk, is it true you showed him a Lisa Ann video? <laughs> Listen, listen, Toby, the man who looks like a defensive end on the Pittsburgh Steelers is going to put his oh. pee-pee inside of mommy's hoo-hoo. Oh, my God. No, but it, kind of close to that. I said, listen, remember that OnlyFans thing? He goes, yeah, how's it going? I said, no, no, no. I told you I was coming back to you to make sure you were mm-hmm. okay with it. I said, you're going to walk into school. We live in a suburban bubble. Some little asshole is going to hold up a phone. I'm going to be naked on the phone mm-hmm. and they're going to say your mom's pussy's on the internet. Mm-hmm. And I said, and I'm worried about how it will how it will affect you. And he said, mm-hmm. why do you care what people think? And I went, yes. fuck, man. Mm-hmm. Like, wow. it still gives me chills wow. because I was like, if he doesn't care, how can I care? And do, right. do you know what's, cared. what's that quote from the Bible where it's like, um, if you go into a city and they don't accept you, like wipe the dust off your feet from that city? I don't know. My whole thing is like I don't care what people think either. It's just I, it's not about what people think. It's what it's what God thinks. It's God loves Miss Robinson. God loves everyone. He God loves, loves her, everyone. Like, That's never too late, I, he loves everyone. It. You said I, wait. Dino just said it's never too late. What does that what? mean? You're looking for her to repent, Dino. Well, I mean, if she wants to, <laughs> no, Miss Robinson, would you consider repenting personally to Dino? <laughs> no, Dino. Here's the thing, though. I actually. Being like in a program of recovery, I checked with my former work husband, who's always been like really open with me. And I'm like, here's what I want to do. And we did a pros and cons. And we talked about the business aspect because that's what really turned me on were the metrics and yeah. finding out how to get the conversions where they need to go. Mm-hmm. And It's more yeah. exciting than working for a paycheck, isn't it? it when is. your work is directly <laughs> proportional to your income yep. and it can scale up toward the heavens. That's right. Mm-hmm. And so I, that moment with my child was the most life-changing moment with me. And I called the dude. I'm like, I'm in. What do I do? And he's like, okay, you're on your own. You've got to create this platform first before we have this stepmom, stepdaughter thing. So I started a free OnlyFans. Um, and then I started um, pumping up my socials. Did this jack off get a cut? Wait, do you hear? The guy who brought oh. you into it? Oh, you don't understand litigation and everything. Uh-oh. Wow. Mm, can't wait for this. So I'm sorry. Continue. No, it's okay. He, I just... I'm not at liberty to say what I actually think of him, but my attorney did say I'm allowed to say facts because even though they portray him in a bad light, um, they're facts. So I'm not okay. talking shit on him. Sure. I like shit. that you consulted with an attorney before coming on our show. I have three attorneys. Like you're going to need one who's good with um, uh, 
anti-rape stuff because Leo. Oh, you stop. <laughs> It's not true. I have one. <laughs> I'm sure she's got one already. <laughs> Tell yeah. him to. Uh, it's hire a PI not to gonna follow be like him. That. When she, we're in not going to sleep together because the doctor's fucked out. She mentioned that earlier, Danny, and I'm pretty sure you're. You might even be shooting something here, right? Yeah, I can get to that too. She's going to be shooting something probably right after this, Danny. Mm-hmm. Danny boy. So. I shot last night with Sheree Deville. Wow. Yeah. And, and I'm sorry, Miss Robinson. You started building your platform. I derailed us, Leo. Yeah, of course, you that's got my okay. silly comments. Yeah, dirty, if it's getting boring and I'm not like, I don't <laughs> know. Thanks. Thank you. you that was more bitch. than a silly comment. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know if this is interesting <laughs> because and now yeah. Dino took his shirt off. Look yeah, that. now that he's got that, it's it's okay. But Miss Robinson, you build up the platform. It's free at first. When does it become clear to you that hey, this is going to work? It's going to more than work. Day one. Wow. Day one. What day happened one. on day one? Well, day one, um, I had already built my Twitter, my Reddit, my... What I did was I took exactly what I did for like Morgan Stanley. Dino's going to be on a Reddit it to, mm-hmm. I applied it to OnlyFans and I started my social profiles and knew I had to drive the traffic and it went out of control. I mean, I made so much on a free page just by selling my solos and stuff like that. What's a solo? Is that where you masturbate on webcam? Yeah. This big thing is like jerk off instructions where I tell you how to jerk off. Go slower, Danny. Oh, there we go. Not so fast. I want to go fast though. Oh, it's right here, baby. Right. All 5.1 inches. Look at me, Danny. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Right. And so they love that. Miss Robinson, I know I have a girlfriend and you don't hook up outside of the business, but has a part of you ever fantasized about coaching me on masturbating? Absolutely, right now. <laughs> really? Yeah. You thought about it? Yeah, bring the girlfriend too. Bring the dude. Bring the girlfriend. <laughs> mm. It'd be a great time. Would I'm you sure. sit in the corner of the room with a megaphone and instruct us while we fuck? With yes. a megaphone? With a megaphone? Yeah, it's very loud. Can't I just whisper it in your ears? Uh-huh. Yeah, even better. <laughs> and I want you to have a cat and nine tails and a and a, and dish out punishment if we're doing something that displaces you. I can do that. Yeah, wow. I have a lot of fans, so my fan base is really different. Um, you know, I'm very, as I said, I'm open minded, so I learned a lot about some wild things guys like mm-hmm. that have, you know. Wow, like I have a guy who likes to stick stick his car keys in his pee hole and uh, twist it. Uh, <laughs> okay, some people need to die. That's something That's I've always believed. Guy? And this is a guy, yeah. Yeah, you think it's gonna start the engine? Oh my god, there's, there's a so there's a V8 <laughs> Hemi in his prostate. Right, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm hurt. No, I can't. I'm hurt, dude. Golf tees. It's hurting. Yeah, you. Those guys. The next time they come over, just shoot them in the fucking face. They don't come yeah. over. They're just online. online. Okay, well, uh, dispatch one of your yeah. shady attorneys and have him take that guy's life. We don't need the guy out there who wants his Nissan keys put up his urethra. Mm-mm. We don't need that person. Mm-mm. All right, there are some kinks I'm down with. A little ass play happens to be my weakness, Miss Robinson. Nice. But when a Appliances or going up holes. Golf. Tees. You should be in a hole, a six foot deep one. If he, if he, it just, it was really just a matter of if he wanted the keys up his ass, that would have been probably okay. Well, we but have not in his pee hole. That shoved the hole open, like shook a champagne Stop. bottle and shoved it up his ass. Oh. And then- let it explode yeah. and all wow. that was out. Wild. The quality douche there this is what that, I call that. <laughs> These people, good, I mean, there's no way anybody who has this kink does anything productive, Leo. No this way. guy is surviving off government checks. 100%. You know why I know that's the case? Because if he worked at Morgan Stanley like Miss Robinson did, this guy wouldn't be able to focus on his computer oh, for yeah. more than 30 minutes at a time oh, yeah. before he's on the Reddit, before he's on 4chan, mm-hmm. communicating with other key junkies. Oh, yeah, yeah, I exactly. I have to say the champagne guy, though. What does lives, that asshole do? He puts a he bottle of it, he shakes it up, Manhattan up his ass. on the Upper East Side and is fucking loaded, and that's how he blows off steam because he spends his whole day telling people what to do, so now he wants me to tell him, you know, shake the champagne bottle, put it in more. He yeah. wants me to degrade him or... Um, Can you describe how that works, Miss Robinson? So it's over Zoom, and you tell oh, it's in person. No, it's, it's not live. It's all, it's a pre-recorded video. Like they ask for something, and then we you make the video. We record video. it and send it to them. So you put a champagne bottle up your own ass? No, no I tell I tell them, and then um, he does it. Yeah, and he does it, and then he sends it back to me. A video, and is he putting the neck of the champagne bottle up yes. his ass? So that it goes in. So all the champagne goes in. Wait, this guy needs to be on the channel. First, first of all, <laughs> this is dangerous for a multitude of reasons. Alcohol poisoning. It's absorbed very quickly through oh, the yeah. fleshy tissue of your ass. Mm-hmm. And then if that bottle shatters, I hope he bleeds out. It, he probably will. There's going to be one less Manhattan sociopath mm-hmm. roaming Fifth Avenue. It did mm-hmm. remind me of um, American Psycho a little bit. Oh, yeah. 
I would course. say though that like a lot of the guys that pay the most money definitely have these higher corporate jobs that you're saying like these guys usually yeah. don't have like I have a guy who requests weekly to buy weekly customs and pays like five to eight hundred dollars for them wow okay this is what we need to do I think <laughs> we need to kill the bottom 30 percent economically in this country and the top one percent and then we'll be okay. Then we'll get rid of 90% of the sexual deviancy. Yeah. I think that'll be healthy. 100% a good purge. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, you're like, Leah, are you on board with this? I'm on board, buddy. We can go down to Hidalgo County at the tip of Texas. Yeah. There there were campaign posters everywhere. Leo and I can do what the locals did when mm -hmm. we were in southern Texas, wear cowboy hats and have string, tie neck, string neckties. Mm -hmm. We can run for office. Get rid of the bottom 30. Get rid of the top one. Yeah. Get rid of sexual deviancy. Done. That, come on, Dino. That's got to be the one thing you like this episode. That shit's pretty based, bro. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Thank you. Um, do you think it's time that we review one of the, the lovely Miss Robinson's videos? Absolutely, Leo. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna, Unfortunately, I'm going to take a PP first. Though. Also, can we sh show uh, Amber Blake a nice place to sit down so she doesn't, because she doesn't want to be in the room. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's talk about that on camera. I just got... <laughs> Ms. Robinson, I understand you brought us another gift. I did. Yeah. What do you have? I'm, wow. So I guess my love language is gift giving. I love but, it. But um, yeah, so in Pittsburgh, we have a really cool um, streetwear store. It's called No Lack. It stands for No One Likes a Camper. And I thought, what better way to bring... <laughs> no One Likes a what? A, a camper. camper. That's funny. Are you a gamer? I don't understand it. Oh, I thought you meant people that go camping. <laughs> no, it's like a gamer <laughs> reference, but what it actually camping is. Camping is when you wait outside where people spawn and then you shoot them after they spawn. Awesome. Yeah. Can you unplug and plug my... Yeah, gotcha. yeah mine are uh, wavy too, in and out, in and out, in and out. So nobody likes a camper. Okay. Yeah, that's what it stands for, but it's really like this uplifting message and all of the professional athletes wear NOLAC. And so I thought I would bring you guys their brand Does, new Oh my hoodies. God. Does Thank Ben Roethlisberger wear They're brand NOLAC. new hoodies, Danny. I don't know this. if Ben does. Or not. Um, this is great. But I thought I could rep them and, you know, a little bring a little Pittsburgh. Because I'm into streetwear. Somehow I have gotten into the whole Supreme and Bape and all that kind of wow. stuff. Wow. Whoa. So, These are really nice. I don't know if you like we them. We created a nightmare by unifying dreamers. And, and is this... Because I just got to make sure my production staff's very conservative. Is this referring to the dreamers that are undocumented immigrants that are able to have their college education paid for? No, definitely not those. <laughs> okay. I like mine. It's, it's they, only... would, they wouldn't let us wear these ever. Yeah, no, that's definitely not that. Mine They're says... in charge of you? Yeah, they are. Yeah. yeah. We do let them make our business decisions. We're, we're their keeper. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, not so shout out to Nolak. He manages my this money through these guys. It's only <laughs> business. Don't take it so personal. I like that. Yeah. I don't know. I thought you guys oh, would hey, yeah. I just I thought it would this. be good. If One I of my did... favorite movies, You've Got Mail. He, he says that. The, Tom Hanks says that throughout the movie. So. Aw. Yeah. No, it's a good romantic comedy. I don't think Dino's comfortable with the idea of dreamers unifying. Of course not. because It's uh, not about that kind of dreamer. It's more about like sure? how big. I am sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, because this Talking guy was all Latinos? about being a fuck up in his life oh. and was tired of it. And he's like a success story now and how you can really... Refine, refine yourself. Is that the word? Reclaim yourself mm. and um, really do anything. Mm -hmm. It's nothing to do with the immigrants. <laughs> Reclaiming yourself <laughs> is what Miss Robinson did, mm -hmm. and yes. Dino still doesn't believe you when right. she did her first scene with Johnny Sins. Absolutely. Amber has requested to leave the room because so the two of you have your own independent businesses: OnlyFans, oh. OnlyFans, porn. But Amber, you do not do porn yourself. No, I do. I do full um, explicit content on my OnlyFans. Um, okay. Con I'm completely incorrect. Wow. But you do not watch each other's content. Never. Why is that? Because it's because disgusting. disgusting. Sorry, that wasn't rehearsed. <laughs> well, that's, I mean, we are it's, like the same. Just, does it really talk up your product, right? <laughs> you shouldn't say your product's disgusting. No, it's disgusting to do something together because right. the way I raised her mm -hmm. when it was kind of fucked up when she came to me and was like, yeah, my friends and I, because she is a singer by trade and had been working on this high end cruise line and everything shut down because of COVID. She's like, yeah, my friends and I are going to start an OnlyFans. And I like looked up at the sky, at the universe. I'm like, yeah, her and the bass player, bitch. the drummer, checkmate fucker, <laughs> putting my daughter on OnlyFans. Oh, what wow. could I say? And I was yeah. like, okay. So then we had ground rules and boundaries and we keep it all separate. And 
So she does her thing, I do mine, and she's been wildly successful as well. And we're actually going live on OnlyFans tonight together wow. to do um, a question and answer because people have so many questions. Nice. Well, what Dino have, will have you tune about, in. Um, Separate and equal, as Dino would say. Uh, Amber, have you thought about uh, singing opera while your mom is penetrated? That might be nice for OnlyFans tonight. You know, I haven't thought about that, no, mm. but um, now that you mentioned it, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I also don't do opera. I'm more of like a, uh, I did like musical theater and then also like I oh. tried to get into pop. You love can, it, love it. We recently sing, fell uh, in love with musical theater. She we... can sing music of the night <laughs> from behind this room divider like like while it. her mom. She can do four non blondes. What's up? Like nobody's business. Anything from the wedding singer by chance? Because me and Danny, we auditioned for that. We did audition yeah. recently. You want to hear really? my? You want to hear what I did in the audition? Let's hear it. And when it's your wedding day and my music starts oh, to play, I can guarantee that Leo's trying to get blown. And um, I, I cannot tell you, I cannot tell you guys how disappointed Leo is to hear that you don't do stuff together because at some point the idea took root in his head <laughs> that he was going to be somewhere with Blacktop and a bunch of little white lines painted in his car with the two of you. If yeah. anything, I would just pick the uh, Mrs. Robinson, the lovely Mrs. Robinson's uh, <laughs> brain on her financial strategies, <laughs> her uh, her success in life, her centeredness. You know what I mean? Maybe I need to hit some ayahuasca, mm -hmm. Danny boy. Mm -hmm. Maybe I do. Mm -hmm. That's what I'd you be talking about. You guys should do it. They bring the indigenous shaman in from... The jungle of Colombia and oh this, my god dude, we need to go do this please in a video you can do it in California they okay. come into California oh, come twice in. a year um, to Macula and they do it there oh but this god. guy doesn't speak a lick of English he literally lives in the literal fucking jungle I and speak they bring Spanish, him so. and yeah he's amazing I, I don't even know if he speaks Spanish he might not yeah yeah it's like some jungle Spanish I guess mm -hmm. <laughs> jungle I Spanish yeah but it was wild mm -hmm. it was truly wild yeah so yeah, so we don't do anything together. I don't want to see her shit. She doesn't want sure. to see mine. It, Does I it just, have anything to do with the fact that she came out of your vagina? Is that um, I it has more to do with I raised her and we we've always been very close, but it's always been like a a mother and a friendship. Um, you know, I hate when people say, "Oh, you shouldn't be friends with your kids," and I've managed to do both. Mm -hmm. And um, I was just always involved with my kids and their activities. Mm -hmm. I was always. Like the lead chaperone to take the groups of kids to New York or to wow. Washington, D.C. And, you know, now those kids are probably on my pages. I Danny, how many times it. how many times <laughs> would you have jerked off to Mrs. Robinson if she took you on a field trip to the zoo? Jerked off? Yeah, how many Zero, times? Zero, because I would have possessed the requisite game <laughs> to get into Miss Robinson's hotel room. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah. No one At ever 13, tried, though. In case they you would have loved it. on the door so that you can't escape Oh, no. I would have yeah, it. Leo, uh, I <laughs> had so much game when I was... If they would have tried to make me bunk with KJ Eslick or Sean Copeland, uh -huh. I would have stuffed my bed full of pillows so it looked like I was still there. <laughs> yes. And I would have gone down the hall. No way, with a stolen a little bottle of champagne. Stolen a little bottle of champagne. And me and Miss Robinson would have already had a knock system worked out. No. It would have been. <laughs> that would have been it. And that's how she would know that it wasn't uh, that pesky she, she principal. Had it, she had to hit the last two. Or the maid staff. <laughs> she she would know it was me. Two, and I would be fucking prepubescent <laughs> rock. That's the great thing about being prepubescent. Your dick gets way harder because it's less cubic space to fill with blood. And then also, no pregnancy risk, which right, would have been perfect right. for you. Yeah. Perfect for you because you're not looking to have kids. Also, it's a little dicey at your age. So I would have been in there fifth grade, rock hard, slamming out that pussy, Miss Robinson. And I don't Thank mean to offend you. you with that. No, not at all. I appreciate <laughs> I appreciate the sentiment. It's nice to know I would have been found attractive at that age. I would have had a sideways what Spitfire you, hat and I would have had a puka shell necklace just Stop. going. You can love puka shells. <laughs> the puka <laughs> shell. The puka. <laughs> and I would have gone, ah, 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 and, and nothing physically would have happened because it's a dry can orgasm. Can we find a young Danny Mullen picture immediately? We need to see. I've, you I've got look, one. Yeah. Dude, I've got one with me standing in my living room before my first day of fifth grade. I'm wearing a World Industries t-shirt. Oh. Giant S skate shoes, S E S. It was a a big company that Costin used to skate for in the early two thousands. They were, I mean, it looked like uh, there's a scene in some Robin Williams movie where he was walking around with like bedpans for shoes. Mm. It looked like that. And then I had like <laughs> cargo shorts past my knees, basically oh, like I looked in the in the Blink one eighty two video we shot, but not nice, a joke. Nice, nice, that's fucking classic. And I had buck teeth back then too. <laughs> <laughs>
Wow. I had a huge overbite. Wow. Leo respects me less, probably. No, for that. no, no. That's awesome. The puka shell necklace, probably too. All right. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Miss Robinson. Yes, sir. Those buck teeth. They can be very pleasurable for a woman when a guy's going down. <laughs> oh my god. I can imagine. You said, sir? Huh? Are you submissive? I am submissive. Wow. And it's really hard because my audience wants me dominant. Like of they send me videos of them with diapers, and you know they want with diapers. Yeah, and they want me to change. <laughs> I feel their like pants. our Reddit would probably do that. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking Leo might probably do that. They diapers. Yeah, I think them. I think Leo with a rattle is with just a rattle. Buddy? I think he's taking a mental note on all the things he's going to ask Miss Robinson for. The ra- as long as you include a rattle and diaper, okay. I want a rattle, <laughs> and you know a, a pacifier. All three of those, then I'll do it. That's the allure, though. My audience is really kind. They, um, I get a lot of older guys, but it's mostly like your 25 to 35 year olds. That's my sweet spot. Mm-hmm. But the older guys, they, you know, they're not great with technology, but um, they have figured it out somehow. They're great with a wine bottle. Um, yeah, but the, car di- case. Yeah. the diaper, the poopy diaper guys, it's a little rough for me. But poopy um, diaper guys, they want me to change their pants. You know, fuck, dude. When Who they are send these, you these guys? videos back, do you watch them? Or is a young Filipino you, boy that you pay? That is, is it a young Filipino boy? Uh huh. The oh, correct I answer. Mm-hmm. Not so much the accurate answer. The correct answer is yes. Oh, Danny, I do, who do you it. think we've run into that's a poopy diaper guy? I need, <laughs> I need a, who have we fucking talked to? <laughs> that's the, a my, poopy diaper that's guy. That's the guy that sends, the, that wants the poopy diaper thing with Miss Robinson. Who is this guy? The mind positively reels, Leo. Mm-hmm. Let's go down Jerry. the list. Let's go down the list. Probably Fan Jerry. Swolby. Swolby. I don't want to change the topic too much. I went to Fig with Swolby this weekend. I can't. I can't wait. We had this. prostitutes leaning in our car window negotiating <laughs> with us. Oh, come on. The poopy diaper guy. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know, Leo, because mm. I feel like we yeah. don't know enough of those 1% style guys who strike me as the poopy diaper men. Exactly. It would be someone we wouldn't expect, like Kahuna. <laughs> yeah, well, that guy's got a kink. They do come out yeah. of the woodwork because they're normal at first, and then all of a sudden there's a golf tee or the car key in the bloody pee hole. Oh! It's a bloody pee hole? Yes, scabs. Scabs from putting stuff in there. The Danny, Danny, this is no the most fucked up thing. There's no pleasure in your pee hole. It's just pain in there. It's Dude, fuck this. It's, oh, like my God. They call it sounding. It's, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> if, if somebody gets enough DUIs, we take their vehicle away. If you get enough scabs on your penis, we take your keys away. <laughs> we take yeah. your that penis needs to be the, away. No, you know what? We yeah, take, your, we take your penis coming. away. Yeah. Yeah. The, your pe- you've lost all privileges. Yeah. We know you shouldn't have children. Mm-hmm. And you obviously can't have fun in a reasonable manner with yourself. So no more masturbation either. <laughs> yeah, send us one of those videos that we'll watch it on the Patreon or something. Okay. I don't want to. I don't mean I either. I want to send a squad of stormtroopers to their address. That's <laughs> yeah. what I do. You I have those? Want, the addresses? No. Unfortunately, no, she might have that. credit card numbers. We could figure it out. She might have stormtroopers. She might, yeah. yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Very well, 40s. Now, we need something to uplift us, Danny, and that might be a video of Miss Robinson getting right. loud. Couldn't right. agree with you more. All right. Right. Amen. Amber, so, Dino Want to take the, the the lovely Amber Blake and and give her a nice seat, maybe a, some uh, take a couple high noons for the road. Oh, yeah. it, and All Amber, right, do you mind? Um, don't be afraid to open up to Dino. Right. And if you wouldn't mind, I would <laughs> love to hear about what the two of you talk about mm-hmm. once you're back in the room. If you wanted to make out, the only way he gets. I'm sorry, I can't quite hear. You're not just gonna like mic me up so that like you know. You know no, like, um, that would be funny. <laughs> in the future, in the future, we will have that kind of technology. But yeah. you know, we yeah. operate on the honor system here. Oh, I feel yeah. like cool. everybody in this room is an honorable. Kind of Why don't guy. we tell? And we should share probably that Dino doesn't really interact with women besides when the women come to him through me and Danny, basically. So if you wanted to give him a kiss or something like that, it would go a long way in helping him, you know, uh, become a man. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. She doesn't seem to think about I'll it. Consider it. Consider yeah. it. Yeah. I know you guys started off on the wrong foot, but. Hopefully, just yell at you're yeah, yeah, yell, yeah, yeah. Most likely, you're just going to learn about her. Okay. Yeah. You're probably the, the book of Exodus is going to be right. oh, like rattling around that's your my head all day. One. He loves anime, one. though. He loves oh, anime. If you sweet. do, sweet. Mm. sweet, my yeah. fans love anime. Oh, there we go. Of course they do. <laughs> She's right. a Marvel. Girl you hear that, too. Dino? Yeah. I'm more of a Marvel. Marvel, me too. Obviously, girl. Thor. You know, yeah. Dino, uh, behave yourself. Step outside and um, take care of the lady. Okay. Uh, Miss Robinson, while we're waiting for Austin to retrieve the actual video, you spoke too soon with your president. Miss Robinson, if I got you at one of your lowest points, the tail end of your marriage, your career in corporate America, <laughs> while I was still 16, do you think you would have broken the law and had sex with me? No. What if you were in a state where that wasn't the law to be broken? Like in Texas, right? 16? Maybe or, Pennsylvania. No, Who Texas? knows? I don't Maybe know the law Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Yeah, I'm pretty sure 
it's probably or you know yeah would you have if it was legal and if Danny it was, was legal and Danny no. was sixteen no it was that's never been like an attraction to me what if I was what is 18? your what's your type yes if I was eighteen uh, mm-hmm. oh there he is okay what's what about to, what's your type I, I know we talked about oh, that yeah a little bit I don't have one it's really about who the person is mm-hmm. and um. Someone had asked me on a podcast before, who would you pick if you walked in the room? And I'm like, I need to talk to you first. Mm. I can't do it off personality or I only do it off personality. So, so far, I assume you would rank us me number one, Austin number two, (laughs) Dino number three, Leo. I adore you guys all so far. And it would be so, so the first night we got here, I was on a discord game show and the audience of it was 15 million people. They were high what? level influencers. There were eight of them trying to win a date with me. They were young kids that just it turned 18 or like up to 22 and they love MILFs. Wow. So we were asking questions. I'm like, these guys, and I haven't been on a date in so long. I'm like, mm. I'm taking it seriously. I'm like, they're all so amazing. And um, I couldn't narrow it down beyond these three. <laughs> One looked like Pete Davidson, which okay. is like. It's cute. Yeah, Pete. Why did Pete Davidson come into? Like, why does he get in all the all the ladies now? People think he's attractive. Now. Yeah, it because first of all, he got the first one. What was it, Ariana Grande? Yeah. Once you get the one, yeah. you don't need any more. Right. That's so right. that's the number thing. And then Dino just refuses to close the door. To Austin, do you mind going to closing the door? Okay. We have to go and get STD testing right. all the time, and there's a pass system, and there are two major testing companies. There's mm-hmm. ECT, and then there's um. Talent testing and talent testing is the only one that uses the pass system and the pass system is the one where you can see where everybody else's scores are and he was supposed to shoot with us yesterday and we're like he's not in pass like what does that mean and because we don't shoot with people Mm -hmm. who aren't in pass and he got pretty upset. And so, yeah, too bad. Yeah, we had it's even Swolby one Kenobi passed. So he went through pass and passed. And he visits. And he is the opposite of a sexual professional. Right. So if this guy wasn't willing to do the pass system, you made the right choice. Oh, yeah, I won't. No, I'm so careful. Of course. It's Why, still attaching. That's so sketchy. Why would he not want to take the pass test? I know. Because he said, oh, well, you know, they just don't put it in pass. And we're like, yeah, oh, too bad. You just missed a threesome with two hot milk. Were you uh, upset? Had you seen this gentleman's work before? I had seen it, and I've had a lot of a, a lot of requests for the, which I've now found out is politically incorrect to say BBC, a big black cock. That's it's not politically incorrect. incorrect. That is not. I refuse. We knew a BBC porn star, Scotty Chickens, who loved his big 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 black cock and loved to be known as a BBC superstar. Really? Our, yeah. Our our black friend, his Instagram bio is King Croc BBC. Yeah. Absolutely. And that was not coerced at all. Yeah, no, BBC <laughs> is totally fine. Did this guy have a massive penis? Ten and a half inches, yeah. Did you like it when you saw it? Um, I mean, I like my cervix, so I was a little <laughs> bit concerned. Yeah. You're old fashioned. Yeah, I like a big cock, that's fine. But that I was like, man, like I have maintained a very nice vagina over the years and it's in tight, good looking shape, um, for my age. And so I was like, Man, he's gonna bang me this shit out, but you would have done it. And then, um, uh, but what do you, uh, uh, Leah, why are you on your phone I right found, now? I found uh, the video just oh, in case we, because we, okay, we haven't it. pulled it up yet. You sure, got sure. it out? And then Miss Robinson, what, um, so as a guy with like an average cock, does that work for you? Yeah. Average size cocks? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I prefer an average cock. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> you prefer an average, average cock. Uh, is there, I mean, that's something nice to hear for a guy like Danny because he's been fixated on, on big penises for a long time and how he doesn't have Love one. Him. He loves him, but he also is, you know, he's upset he doesn't have one. He's He thinks that if he had a big penis, he would have taken over the world, that he would have been some kind of mm-hmm. supreme leader of, of uh, you know. No, some, that's a misconception it's from a misconception. feminine perspective. Exactly. Feminine, it's, like, it's, right, so explain to us the the science behind why women like average cocks, and there is a lot is, of them Is she wearing a lab coat, Leo? No. Not, not the science. Well, her she, personal take on it. Sure. It, does it hit the G spot better? Is it is it more about, like, just tell us. Yeah, so... Is that a dog? It's a yeah, dog. It's a dog and it's ejaculating. It's neglected. Again. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't my daughter. It's neglected. That's that what guy. it is. Okay. Oh, yeah. out there. The, no, the guy wearing the rape t-shirt is completely <laughs> trustworthy. Don't you worry. So yeah, I'm any size cock, when I see a really big one, I'm like, oh man, this is going to hurt for a few days. Mm-hmm. And I don't like pain. Um, it hits where it needs to hit. The way I'm built, um, it's I have a very tight vagina and... So any size really works for me, except this one guy in college. We called him two peas in a tic tac. It was like this big. I feel the poor, oh, poor guy. I fucked him out of. Pity. How big again? Mm. How big? 
like this. Two oh. peas in a Tic Tac, Leah. That was his nickname. Two peas in a <laughs> Tic Tac. <laughs> That's great. And you had yeah. sex with him out of pity. Yeah, I tried to. He's like, I know. And I'm like, I know. I don't. That's your heart. Yeah, I, I think the best. He said that. <laughs> he said, I know and pointed at it. He knows. Yeah. And he, he was this big lacrosse goes, player at Pitt. Damn. Yeah. Was he a good looking guy otherwise? Fucking smoking. Wow. He's so kind. Tragic. God. God. Smart. Why would you do that to the man? Yeah. See, we're blessed. Got nerfed, we're blessed. Dude. What are the options for that guy? What are the options? He can, I think, wear a strap on whenever he's having sex mm-hmm. with his wife, mm-hmm. get really good at oral, mm-hmm. or he can be a gay bottom. Exactly. You can always be a gay bottom. And that guy probably would have killed in the gay community. Or you date like a dom woman that likes to peg a guy and then he will just, you know, come with the prostate. Or he could go transgender and he's already halfway there. Nice, nice. Yeah, and these guys, I'm, I mean, a, a good looking transgender like him would fucking slay. They the clean community. up with chicks too. Trans, tra- transgender guys, they get some nice good looking ladies. You know this from... Uh... Well, I've seen him walking down the street here in West Hollywood. Yeah, I know. I've yeah. been spending a lot of time in West Hollywood. That's where my girlfriend lives. And that's oh. the epicenter of the gay community. Mm-hmm. And um... My 16-year-old is gay and has just come out as trans. So I just thought I would mention that before awesome. you go down that road. Well, we're not saying anything well, we're negative. We're not going to say anything okay. negative about yeah. it. All right. <laughs> and... We're just saying how they're cleaning up. Yeah. yeah. They're, getting, mm-hmm. they're getting whatever they want, be it penis or pussy. Yeah. yeah. They have... Mine looks exactly the same, except it's just been a learning experience for me so some would call yeah. them greedy in the sexual department because they are their scope of who they can hook up with is just endless mm-hmm. but that's not true because they still have a preference and i learned this and how cool is this like when my i'm trying to like not give identifying information 16 year old son came out as trans the girlfriend he's had for two years is so open-minded that she's like i love you no matter what and if you ever decide you're gay and you don't like women i'll be your bff forever and i'm mm-hmm. like i fucking love a freddie mercury style now, situation now, yeah. as, as a mother i've heard that moms always know did you i knew he was gay too really i was surprised he was trans or she was trans but i knew i mean there were just and i would tell my gay friends yeah yeah he's gay and they're like you don't know that i'm like no i fucking know it yeah. and then I would always tell him once a month, hey, if you know you're gay, I just want you to know this Mm. is an open environment in our home. Mm. And he would say, I'm not gay. I'm not gay. He couldn't figure out what he was. And he identifies as female, which is, I don't understand it, but I support Mm. it and love him no matter, love her no matter what. Mm -hmm. But it's been a learning experience big time. Yeah. I think the best way to test if a kid's gay is just show him a Polaroid of Leo. And uh, if their penis goes limp, well, it doesn't reveal anything. It's sort of a funny <laughs> answer. My so. kid's girlfriend it's is Barbies smoking and dolls. hot, and she's down with it. And wow. so she, so she's going to be now dating as your daughter, your yeah, trans right. daughter. Has, has your trans daughter elected to get surgery? No. No. So your trans daughter will retain a penis yes. and will continue to fuck the ever-loving shit out of his straight girlfriend. Correct. And dresses male. Yeah, wow. we both. And dresses like, male. Dresses male. Yeah. So, so your transgender daughter is going to remain outwardly a male. Yes. Interesting. Yeah, it really is. And I said, "What's up with the mustache? I don't understand." Mm-hmm. And like, I've been granted a lot of grace, and mm-hmm. she's like, "Yeah, like it doesn't matter." I mean, think of some butch lesbians that you know. Like, it doesn't matter what I look like. This is how I feel inside, and I'm like, "Cool, like whatever." And the girlfriend is smoking hot, and she's like, "Yeah, whatever." Then one day I'm like, so are you a lesbian to the girlfriend? She goes, I don't know. I'm like, because she's a girl now. She's yeah. like, I got to figure that out. I'm like, I don't with know. A, with a penis, yeah. So um, it, it, it seems like your, uh, your trans daughter, it, it doesn't seem like outwardly anything's changed. What has changed since the official admission of, of transgenderism? She changed her name. Okay. Um, Wants to be referred to as she, her. I've had to learn all this pronoun shit. Hmm. Which they, she, her. Um, she went to an event at school and wore somewhat masculine, more like something you'd see on Hollywood Boulevard kind of thing. It mm-hmm. had a little bit of lace, but she had the crossbody Louis bag and, you know, Prada shoes on. It just was a, an outfit. I mean, she looked so good. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, holy fuck. But I was nervous as a mom because let one of 
this little fucker say something, I'm showing up with my 380 and yeah. I'll blow, yeah, I just, well, if you, if you don't want to have to pull out your 380, keep both daughters away from Leo. Okay. Cause he doesn't discriminate <laughs> and you son of a bitch. He is a slave to his desire. <laughs> Miss Robinson, let's get to the tape. Let's We're going to watch her porn now. She's going to have Johnny sex sins. with Johnny sins. Yeah. He used to be my student. Who you we both are from student. Pittsburgh. Actual oh student. my God. Did you, were you attracted to him when he was your student? No, I wasn't. Okay. Did he have hair back then? Um, yes. Did he look better with hair? Um, I can't remember because I didn't look at him like that. He was really quiet. Did you ever suspect he was packing? No. <laughs> what the fuck? You was sick bastard. I, I never looked at it like that. I no, really no. was like goody two shoes. You never but, looked at his bulge. But when you were no. going to have sex with him, did the <laughs> fact that he was your student at one point, did that turn you on at all? Um, it was weird. Um, mm-hmm. it, it was really fucking weird, actually. It was the most... I don't get nervous before I shoot, but this one had me so stressed out. I was oversharing and mm-hmm. just being like really weird. It was... <laughs> you can tell I'm uncomfortable <laughs> with it a little bit, but mm-hmm. we just ran with it and... Yeah. I'm sure it did really well. It was both of our... Bi- yeah, big wow. sell. Let's wow. watch this. We're going to watch the porn. All right. Hit it. In Austin, we're, we should probably mute it. <laughs> We should probably no, mute it. No, we need to mute it for um, not getting taken off YouTube purposes. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. I'll have you guys able to hear it, but yeah, because right. what I say is I'm funny. Okay, and what he yeah, says, it's good. You'll sure, sure, hear sure. It. Is that you, Miss Robinson? Okay, oh, that's see. her. All right. Oh wow. Oh. Uh, on the desk. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Isn't oh, Miss Robinson. Wow. Yeah. And I said you got an A, Johnny Sin. Miss oh Robinson. Oh my God. I just watched semen dribble out of your pussy. Wasn't yeah. that a great cream pie? Danny, what would you rate her vagina? I give it a gold star. It's it's pretty <laughs> phenomenal. You have you have Thanks. an absolutely phenomenal vagina, Thank Mrs. You. Robinson. Yeah, Leo would not yes. eat it because he doesn't eat pussy. That is not true. I don't eat random girls that that are, stop. I'm not even going to explain it. No, you You're shouldn't. An I'm with you. Don't eat random pussy. Thank it's you. disgusting. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You never know if they wipe and clean. Exactly. Like I am so hygienic, it's sickening. Yes. So, Miss yeah. Robinson, this is great. Now, would we be able to watch your daughter Amber's porn? Um, that's up. That would be up to her. Mm-hmm. I'm certainly not going to watch it. And you're not going to be in the room for that. W- yeah. Would you mind swapping spots yeah. with her real quickly? And we're going to sure. talk to her if she's willing to share with us what she's got. Yeah. There absolutely. we go. So, Leo. Mm-hmm. Careful there, Miss Robinson. Not, hey, I was most athletic. Class of wow. Uh, Miss Robinson, this way. This, yeah, way, this way, this way. This way here. They're out back. They're out back that Thank way, you, yeah. Robinson. Just make a right. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Robinson. Thank you so much. What have you got planned for tonight, you sicko? I got to take him to dinner. Are you actually going to? I don't know. I haven't decided, but do you want to come? Bring no, Mia. Bring I, Mia. I'm not going to cock Bring you. Mia. Leo, I don't want to hear any of this. Bring Mia. Yeah, we'll go to Fud Ruckers. What do you have planned? Honestly, nothing. But, I mean, they did mention that they didn't have anything to do tonight. So, I mean, if I mean, yeah, sure. Maybe I should probably take him to dinner just to show him a good time. Be a good host, right, Danny? Oh, Leo, you're expecting something. I'm not expecting anything. I told you. Now that I know that she's a financial wizard and some kind of a genius marketer, I'm going to ask her questions about that. Hi, Amber. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, uh, very good. I'd close this video. Austin. Yeah, yeah Austin. Right yeah, yeah, I, she doesn't like to watch her mother. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's not a person that I fucked on. Yeah. 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 <laughs> not a carpet you fucked on? Is that, that's yeah. not a carpet she's fucked she on. She knows every carpet. Oh, Leo. yeah. Just like you know, every neon sign you've gotten mm-hmm. blown in front of. Oh, I'd like to know, you wanted to watch my mom's best video, so I want to make sure you watch my best video. Right. So oh. Which one were you going to watch? We, we we haven't decided. We're going to let you let us know. What do you think? Um, what, do you, what, do you, what are some of your top sellers? My best seller was the one I filmed in L.A. last year. Um... God, I don't even remember what it's called because it's been so long. I have because I number them, so then oh, gotcha. I forget. Um, Amber gets fucked. Number three. No, no. Um, <laughs> number that's five. A good, I'll, I'll keep that in my back pocket though. Amber Thank gets you. fucked. Number three. It's, it's tough. Yeah, it's, I know. It's, it's, Amber uh, gets nice. Yeah, <laughs> number three. It's a good one. It could just be a new series. Um, probably Risky Roommate Rail Fest. Oh yeah, let's do it. Ra- a, a rail fest is something. If we go Amber Blake Risky Roommate Rail oh, Fest. Oh, you will not find me on Google. I might have to like pull it up or yeah, something. Yeah, do you have a link that you could send by chance? 
would I be able to like log in? Yeah, you to could. Something? You can log yeah, into something. Go, right. go over okay. there. Yeah, go over there and log in. A roommate rail. It sounds like it could be a um a rail yard hobo port. Is there more than one man involved? Oh, okay. I could see I this. It's uh, Amber, uh -huh. Amber, and a, a tramp are sitting around a fire beneath an underpass, and they both have prosthetics. Prosthetics make it look like they have only one tooth, Leo, and they're heating up a, a can of beans. Oh. And they're like, well, oh. when the 357 rolls around again, I suppose we'll be heading to Scottsdale. What do you think? The, uh, that, a rail yard that, pornography. Well, I think you just came up with the next video for Inaligi to do. Yeah. Absolutely. And you got to get um, a one-legged porn star. Because oh, yeah. then the backstory could be that he was jumping trains <laughs> and he got caught between like between uh, the locomotive and a, and a passenger car. I love it. Is that your name? I love Does it. I think we... Um, yeah, whatever. Uh, and then we have Inla Niggy as a hobo, dressed as a hobo would be pretty funny. Oh, okay. Living by the railroad. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is something we need to think about producing seriously. Oh, because just... there, I don't know if you're aware of this, Leo, mm -hmm. is a blossoming train hopping scene here in Southern California. Oh, I've seen that. And uh, the train looting scene is yeah. blossoming at the same time. Are you thinking, when you saw that, did you just, just you, you went straight to writing? You got a notepad and you said, this is a video. The train robbery videos. Mm -hmm. I thought about it, but um, yeah, we could do it. I guess just we like, like a train museum or something. Or we just go interview people who are trying to steal from trains. We could do that. They might have weapons, Danny boy. At least they have box cutters. They might not be they happy about cutters. the camera. Yeah, they might not be happy about the camera. Danny. But we could they still could make dangerous. a porno about it. We are we strapped with guns? Oh, we could make a porno about it if we're we shooting porn. With like a with like a. Uh... A dildo. Could, could, absolutely. Strap with a dildo. Yeah. So you and Amber mm -hmm. are. You live in uh, San Bernardino. Mm -hmm. Your rent is four hundred and fifty dollars a month, but you still can't make it. You just got released from your job at Jack in the Box. Damn it. You're down and you're luckily and you're desperate. Damn it. And the two of you are trying to rob a Union Pacific cargo car, mm. and uh, a constable pulls his double barrel shotgun on you and says. There's only one way you two escape this without answering to the law. Oh, God. And you say, what is it, mister? I ain't scared. And he goes, drop your trousers, boy. Oh, God. And you got to blow the constable and you got to fuck Amber. At the same time. And then the constable fucks you with his shotgun barrel. That's the video that you want to do. <laughs> yeah. You want me to be in. I, want, I would love to produce nice. that, Leo. Oh, okay. I'll put up my own money. Oh, nice. It'll it'll be like a, um, maybe at most a thousand dollar budget. Nice. We're putting it right up on Pornhub? <laughs> nice, You should dude. just put it on YouTube. Fuck nice. It. We, yeah. I'm, Is the I'm shotgun gonna... barrel plastic? Is it a fake gun? Nope. No. It's got to be a real gun. And because plastic is that stuff's made in China, and there are chemicals that will rub off. So you body. want just a straight barrel of a, what is it, a moose? Uh, what is it, a, that shotgun? I don't know what it's called. I used to shoot it at Waterworld. No, it's like, like an a antique one. No, it's it it's could it. be antique. It has the, yeah. It's the I mean, brand. It's the it brand finish. name of the shotgun. Mossberg four hundred. I don't know what it is. Sure, it's going up your record. Going up my ass. Yeah, is absolutely. it? Can you warm it up first? Because it's the, mm. those barrels get real cold, uh, Danny. Los Angeles has been warm as of late. Well, but I do want to hold the shoot at six a.m. because I'm an early bird. You could fill the bullet with some champagne. You want me absolutely. taking? You want me yeah. taking shotgun barrel up the ass at six a.m.? I think it's time, Leo. <laughs> I think you've too, been too Rudy Tooty around Los Angeles. How much lately. lube are we? You've been so Rudy Tooty. I've been Rudy Tooty. You need to be disciplined at the I've barrel been Rudy of a gun. Tootie. You've been so Rudy Tooty. I've been Rudy Tooty. You're a dandy. You're been, a Rudy Tooty dandy. I've been rooting tootin' out you've there. You've been rooting and tootin'. You've been walking around <laughs> with floral shirts yeah. and a big Sunday hat. I have. Whistling Dixie yeah. and just rooting and tootin' about. I've been rooting and tootin'. You need. To Shotgun be introduced to a dose of reality. Wow, that would be yeah, that would be uh, quite the move. I I don't even know if it would really even get me any more followers. So I'm gonna have to think about it. That was beautiful, by the way, you guys. The little the way the little play off each other. Should, yeah, like scriptures. That's we're like we we're like brothers, and we come up with some great stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, Amber, I want to congratulate you on being present to hear about this new rail yard porno we're going to oh, shoot. I'll keep it under wraps. I'll sign an NDA. Thank you. Okay. Amber, you're hilarious. Um, I'm excited. I'm, gl I'm glad that you and your mother have such a good relationship, too. It's 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 <laughs> fucking awesome to see. Amber, let's watch you get fucked. Okay. I want to read you the title of the one that I'm not going to show you because I want to show you the best one. But some of these are... These and uh, Austin, can you make sure she's mic'd? Oh, sorry. No you problem. Talk right I mean, we that. can. They're going to be able to hear you, but just they can hear you better if you talk right into the mic. Mm -hmm. this, this one. Yeah. yeah there, there we go. go. Um, 
My one of my favorite titles I've ever come up with is "Sexy Pilgrim Sucks and Fucks Plymouth Cock." Oh, so, I like it. Oh, I like that's it. something, Danny. That's a Danny Mullen title, uh, dude. <laughs> Sexy Pilgrim Sorry. Fucks Plymouth Cock. Number thirty-three. There should be like uh, a crucible. Whoa, a crucible. Look uh, at that, Danny. Video. Video. Okay, so already we're seeing many thumbnails. And here is Amber. Very nice body. Very narrow very waist. Mm -hmm. She's completely naked. It's over there. I'm really She's con oh, and yeah. the title is number 33, yeah, Risky yeah. Roommate Rail Fest. Here it is. Risky Roommate Rail Fest. The, it's 14 minutes. So we'll, we'll have Austin do a little of the beginning, a little of the middle, and then, of course, the end. And at around minute three, Leo and I are going to disappear to rub it out. <laughs> You can, I mean, you didn't clean that out, so you can use that. Yeah, there we go. You can just, just come right in. Oh, yeah, we got an auto blow still on deck. Okay, a man is reaching for Amber's pussy. She's got a great body. I'll say it again. Very tight little waist. He's putting a finger, mm. not in her pussy, not up her pussy, but just in the lips. Now he's thinking about putting it in there. He's thinking okay. about it, Leo. The gears are turning. Oh, yeah, they're Wait, turning. Should I put my thumb up or twatty poo? Is he rooting and dooting right now, Danny? <laughs> he was rooting most rooting definitely rooting and dooting. He's, he's, wearing rooting a, dooting. he's wearing like a cat in the hat hat <laughs> while he's filming this. Yeah. That's the mark of a root tutor. And like a like a... <laughs> Like a Mr. Peanut Monocle or something. Mm -hmm. I just I hope he's not Peanut one of those monocles. guys who talks That's too fun. much the whole time. If you yeah. want to skip ahead to like the better shit. Yeah, let's this go. Okay, so this is the warm up. Women. So this is a little of the beginning now. Uh, uh, let's go, Austin. Let's let's get to the uh, the crazy stuff. Okay, then. Uh, okay, he, uh, a very average penis is being sucked. I can relate. Is this your boyfriend, Amber? Mm -mm. No, okay. that's uh, actually a friend from college. Okay, oh, a friend from college. Yeah. Great. I'd, how much did you pay him to get his penis sucked on camera here? Uh, you think I have to pay people to suck their Obviously box? not. Without now, their face in it, you make a good point. There's he, really uh, nothing he's losing by doing this. He was yeah, nervous. He was nervous. Cum. That's the only thing. He was nervous, right? Um, no, this is not the first time I filmed with him. Oh, okay. So his penis actually curves down. Yeah, it's so. it's making me feel a lot better about myself. I, pr I prefer to film with like not super monster cocks. It's it's getting it's a little realistic. it's getting a little girthier. No, no, yeah, he's a I guess he's a grower. Oh, um, it's very girthy. Yeah, it's getting girthier. It's uh, very girthy. Might be overselling it. Okay, so Amber has just mounted <laughs> this anonymous co college asshole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Dwayne. Dwayne. His name is Dwayne. What's his last name, Amber? Um, Dwayne Dixon. Dwayne and Dixon. If you're wondering, um, he's not black. He went to Pitt. He graduated in 2017, and mm -hmm. he now works uh, at Arby corporate. Arby's corporate. Arby's corporate. Mm -hmm. So he's coming up with some marketing strat strategies. Maybe you know the we you we have the meats. Mm -hmm. That he wasn't works his. with. He he's, works with a lot of those guys. If though. he came up with that, he wouldn't. Uh, that was, no, no. He has to hold. He has to like bring that guy water on set. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah. So you're having sex right now, Amber. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's having sex right now, Danny. Thank you for pointing out the obvious. <laughs> I would say she's she's very she has good technique. She looks like she's enjoying it. This is a, a great performance, but you might just be enjoying it with this guy, Dwayne. Do mm -hmm. you like him? Yeah, no, he's a nice. He's guy. a good guy. Dwayne's he's a, good a douche. Fuck. He's a good fuck, Dwayne. Mm -hmm. Do you ever climax while you're working? Yeah. yeah. Did you? Are you going to come in this scene? Um, let me think about it. Sorry. <laughs> now um, she's doing reverse cowgirl for anybody, you know. And just to wondering. clarify, Austin, the audience isn't going to be able to hear this audio, right? Great. She's doing reverse cowgirl. Reverse cowgirl. Good and she's got a, a very again. nice ass. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And uh, Amber, so do you, do you come? Do you finish in this video? I believe so. Yeah, at the end. Amber, this might be a weird time to ask this, but how old are you? I'm 25. Okay, she's 25. Yeah, I'm about to be out of uh, insurance soon. So. Oh, one more year, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Somebody Amber. you're thinking about that. Yeah. That's smart. <laughs> After Dwayne dribbles his jizz down the inside of your thigh, do you say, get your gloves, get your hat, get out of my apartment? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Um, Cuddle? So he actually doesn't skip come ahead in a little bit, on, Austin. Jesus. Yeah, he doesn't come in me on this one. If, okay. if it's a cream pie, it says it in the title. Gotcha. Um, of course. You don't want to leave those things to the imagination. Oh, Just no, never, Let never. people know. Yeah, because mm -hmm. that's what people are into. Mm -hmm. um, but sorry, what was I have ADHD. Uh, do do you, do you, <laughs> doggy style now. Did you tell him to get his gloves and his hat and get out of your apartment after he came? Oh. Oh, no, no, no. So this is actually like a work trip last March. And um, he <laughs> finally He's really giving it to her, Danny. He, he works for um, my mom <laughs> as well. He works for your mom. Mm -hmm. He like has sex with your team. mom. No, 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 no. Just no, he's never. Team. They'll never do that. And uh, he, you're helping oh. with like uh, marketing and stuff. Gotcha. Like that. Amber is now being made love to in Leo's favorite position. In the doggy style position with a little bit of the hair pull. You have a lot of hair there, too. I yeah. see. Yeah, yeah and it's all mine. Healthy hair. Wow. Mm -hmm. Do you do anal, Amber? 
I have not. I have one um, like solo anal video. It's two parts. Um, two parts. It's an epic. It's <laughs> not. It's just. It's not like a lot. Mm-hmm. No. But it does. It does. It does um, satisfy the guys who want that. All right. A little further this, ahead. This guy, Dwayne, he sounds like he's out of shape. He's huffing and puffing. He's got a little. He's. He's. You know. He's got a little bit of the dad bod. But that's a good thing nowadays. I'm into the dad bod. It, yeah. See, a lot of ever, girls like the dad bod. Do you ever bod. tell him like, hey, shut the fuck lose up, lose the pudge. Or oh. shut the fuck up. Oh, no. I never... I don't care. No, because this is like... He's got like a very average body type. I wouldn't even say he's pudgy. Uh, and like that's more relatable for people. So There it is. That's more relatable. They can they can envision it's them. Like I, what Dino no, wants no, to no. do. I've had guys say that to me before. Listen, when I see men have sex on camera, I want... Eight pack abs, eight inch penis. Danny, why don't you show so the lady your abs? Gay, show the lady your abs. No, I'm not going to do that. He I, has great abs. That's I do, probably what it is. Uh, it's not that I'm gay. It's that I want to imagine, like Leo said, mm-hmm. but like nobody wants to imagine they're a guy behind the counter at Staples. Right. And, like, and that's what this guy is built like. He's built <laughs> like a Staples employee. I wouldn't say I Staples. Do rings you up when you I, get a ream of paper. I want the guy in the porn to be as ugly as possible. Well, because it I, makes you feel better about yourself. No, Austin, dude. you're, I mean, that's, that's all well and great. But when you're in the privacy of your own room and the door's closed and you're being honest, which you're not right now, He's you want a again. guy... He's choking her. You want a guy with a hammer and a guy with a shredded stomach so you can pretend you're him. Hey, there's a market out there, though, I think, for just incredibly hideous men having sex with incredibly hot women. Well, let me just say, he's not incredibly hideous at all. Jeez, guys. No, but I'm talking about actual, like, almost physically deformed people getting I'm sure. top tier pussy. All right, well, skip I'm, ahead. Let's I'm, skip to the end. I'm Austin. trying to We're make a rail there. I'm We're trying to make there. a legless railroad porn. And can you actually kill the yeah. audio Austin? It's very distracting to hear the <laughs> it was gnarly. I mean it sounds like um, it, it sounds like somebody put a boom mic up to a bulldog's mouth yeah. after a run. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This guy is so out him. of shape. I mean, this guy, this guy, Dwayne, so you should shit. cut him out of your life. Can we, no. Would you give him a call right now and be like, hey, I listen, I, I've been getting complaints about your huffing and puffing in my videos. You think you could get a little more cardio in? This would was my call? second sex tape on my OnlyFans. This is fantastic. And like, he's actually the recurring star. No, in my he's videos. not a star. He sounds like the guy next to me on the treadmill at 24 well, hour fitness. I edited this on the airplane and uh. I could hear and he was with me on the airplane. I said, are you fucking serious? Like I can hear you. <laughs> yeah. Airplane. He's like, I'm so sorry. So like if you watch the other videos, it doesn't really happen again. Is that how he talks too? I'm so sorry. Is he a dope? A dope? Yeah. Like, I'm so sorry. You made him sound like sort of a... Um, oh, no, no, no. He no, just feels bad. He's like, oh, shit. Like, I was trying to be as quiet as possible. This guy is doing her guy voice. He's a klutz. This guy is a klutz, Leo. You know what? I, I have to say that Dwayne, you know, he... He needs to improve a little bit. But he was laying it down pretty good. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> you can, no, no. I agree, I, and I was experiencing it. Leo, We're being assholes, but if, yes. If this guy he was on a baseball run. team with you, oh, this guy would be the run to the litter. He's you, a would, star you, star you would do this. He he would, would be, yeah. You would get this guy. This guy would show up with like, hey, I, I, my dad and I, we we took a bus to the Yankees game, and we met Jeter outside the stadium by chance at like midnight, and he signed this ball. You would have taken that ball mm-hmm. from him, Leo, pitched it up into the air, Right, dinked it over the fence and said, "Go fetch, fatty." Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I would have said, "Now, I'd be like, now your dad's gonna be real disappointed in you, you little bitch." But no, <laughs> seriously, um, I would say that he would be one of the he would be a pitcher, and he would probably pitch like one or two times a year out of pity. The coach would be like, "He's basically the equipment manager. Mm-hmm. We just got to throw him in there mm-hmm. he was one time the a year." Pitcher in high school, I knew he played baseball. No, he, well, he was the star pitcher in a uh, regional suburb. Amber of might Pittsburgh. be orgasming right now as I. Uh, no, there's no way this doofus can make a girl come. Does he make you come? Yes. No, he doesn't. This yeah. guy doesn't do it. Blake. I mean, sorry, uh, Dwayne. Dwayne Dixon. Okay. Dwayne Dixon. What he was not a star pitcher. A star pitcher. Doubt it. He was the guy who took a toothbrush to the bottom of the dugout to exactly. make sure all the chewing tobacco was gone come game time. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> or it's the guy that whenever there was a foul ball in high school, you can't afford to just give him away. So the coach, the coach turns to the dugout. And he sends one guy, and that usually is the you know he's the peasant. He would send Dwayne Dixon. Dixon yeah. Dwayne Dixon is the pet. Yeah. Go think, get the foul ball. I think Dwayne Dixon, the only way he could hope to maintain his roster spot is mm-hmm. he had to show up three hours early oh, and yeah. paint the lines on the dirt. Oh, what do you mean? Of course, his entire nobody on the team did any field maintenance because field maintenance because it was Dwayne Dixon. Listen, this guy knows all his way, the field maintenance. He knows his way around a lawnmower, doesn't he? I know, he not only he a rake. Love mowing the lawn. He yeah. loves mowing the lawn. He kept the, he kept the uh, the field pristine. I'll yep. tell you that much. Home plate was never any whiter. You can learn about a guy, a lot about a guy. From oh, he's a cum shot. He just came. He just dribbled cum. I called it. There is barely any velocity on that. It's about as fast as his fastball, honestly. 
somewhere around 24 miles per hour. Ah, look, that's probably he might need to improve his diet a little bit. I would say some more vegetables because you are way too beautiful, Amber Blake. Uh, to, wow, that was interesting. She just ate his cum. And I, we know you're pretending it was delicious, but it wasn't. Was no, it? it was. I made him not eat salty things for three days. And that was hard because he's a fat ass. No, no. He actually is really into salads. I just said cut it back on the ranch. Dwayne Dixon, Sal- man. A salad with smothered in ranch is hardly a salad. Dwayne Dixon, you're a lucky son of a bitch. You don't deserve this woman. That's a side salad. He got a round table pizza. Yeah, yeah. For sure. He got a, it's iceberg lettuce. has no nutritional value. He has no idea what nu- what nutrition is. He has no idea how to be healthy. There are so many croutons on there. Yeah, basically in ranch, he dredged it in ranch. Mm-hmm. You know he did. Yeah. He basically had a little bit of, he had a little bit of salad with a, with a, with a fucking ranch. You know, I wish that cum did taste like ranch, though. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Love like that it ranch. Be, it would be like a lot more enjoyable. Maybe not Hidden Valley, more like a like a homemade dill scenario. Yeah. Uh, well, let me pitch but... you this idea for your next OnlyFans video. Okay. When Dwayne is coming next time, just let him drench you with ranch. And as well, and while he's coming, he squeezes that ranch bottle <laughs> all over your tits. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's got to be a ni- Somebody's got to like that. Dwayne comes home from the ranch. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Wow. I think you just, You're hired. I think you just lean into everything we've just described. I think you shoot a porn <laughs> after hours in a Little League baseball field mm-hmm. where he's the equipment boy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And he's you doing are, the lines. he's doing the chocolate. You lines. are the the um, regional manager of parks and recreation for the city. <gasps> I love Leslie Nope. Yeah, parks there we go. Rec. Parks I and am rec. her. Sure. You, you very much are her. I am 100% mm. her. You My show best up. friend is Anne. And, you, and this guy, like, you make him do, like, a, um, a somewhat stereotypical Mexican accent. But we'll just pretend he's like an immigrant. And um, you have sex with him, Amber. You have, yeah. you have Amber, uh, how are you? I've been looking at you a lot. You're so beautiful. He actually I is wish. good at accents. Listen, listen. The, li- the lines. I wish. The, everything is It's crooked. <laughs> Second to third base is, I mean, uh, the runners have been spraining their ankles because it zigzags across the dirt. Ooh. Well, you could do like a I'm play a, on the, the home I'm base and I'm stuff like that, too. I'm absolutely. A, I'm, I'm and come on home base. Listen, come on home base. let me show you how to slide into second, okay? okay show me, please. <laughs> let, let please, me show, show me. Uh, you, this is what you do. I do so anything second, for you, I'm Second base is uh, you are beautiful. Two. That's um, hand job. Second base is hand job. Oh. That's where you, you, uh, you like is that? It? You want to do that to me? Yeah, oh, oh this is you. crazy. Listen, I've been dreaming about this. Listen, wow. and then also, again, <laughs> you've been making a jagged line to third. Yes. you got to be more efficient. The fastest way to third is is this and then she drops to her fucking knees oh wow. shit and there's a little cloud of dust when her knees hit the dirt for the first time no. and then she's, Beautiful. she starts sucking him leo no. and there's a third base coach who's like um a 50 year old black man he used to play ball triple <laughs> a and he's like <laughs> Making round third round third you're clear to go Coming and then home. she and then she fucks him oh my god with the black the black guy instructor too yeah, the yeah black it's good coach yeah it's sort full of full like, uniform you, you know like and i'm imagining like um the guy in happy gilmore i like it yeah with yeah the, with, the, with the arm yeah yeah, yeah. The, yeah the alligator bit yeah, yeah. That, off, that's yeah. everybody loves that guy it's, everybody does yeah yeah uh, maybe he could probably he's available yeah. yeah i'm sure he lives in la yeah he's the hitting coach too so it's great mm-hmm. yeah. it's perfect yeah i like all the idea. play on words and stuff we got, yeah we my got newest a couple. video has a couple of those Nice. You know, uh, Amber, I feel so bad about excluding your mother. You want to bring her back in? Yeah, here? it's time to it's no time to bring it. We we got enough out of there. Oh, yeah, you're back. Is. You Ms. heard Robinson, you heard us. Back in. We were Ms. just Robinson. asking you to come back. Ms. Robinson, use the in- interior bathroom. This one is reserved for Swolby One Kenobi, our uh, bodybuilding. There's no toilet porn paper star. in there. Oh, uh, is there no toilet paper? No, I used the last three squares. Where should we go? Where oh, should she pee? Well, there's always terrible towels, Miss Robinson. No, there's got to be toilet somewhere in the house. No, I, th- I think we used the last bit. Oh it's been, um, you know what? Things, She's got it. Ever since Noah moved out, this Leo. This is embarrassing. We're keeping this in. I brought alcohol. Danny doesn't have toilet paper. Leo, it's ever okay. since Noah moved out, me and Ben have been letting the place go to the uh, wayside. To the shitter? Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Hey, uh, I'm, I'm giving you a terrible towel. Miss oh, Robinson. She's got it. She's got it. Miss Robinson's got it. I was actually going to put this up on eBay once she used it as a, oh, as a plus wipe. Nice, nice. Wow. <laughs> that would have been genius. No, that's what I do. We could we could we could sell her we could sell Danny Mullen NFT shirts with uh Miss Robinson's, you know, pussy juice on it and those would sell like hotcakes, huh? Can, does that work? Can you prove can you can't uh, well, those are non-fungible tokens? People sold yeah. bath water and stuff. I'm no, sure I'm talking about your shirts. Yeah, those those are, shirts. You see those that shirts. chick that oh, yeah. sold all her farts in a jar for yeah, $50,000? I, I know. Yeah, she that ended up cool. getting she had to go to the hospital because she was making herself fart too much. Ah, no way. You got to there's you got to give something. Yeah, that's it, Sacrifices. When uh, Austin and Dino are big time, they'll be able to sell 
Like they'll be able to exhale weed into a jar and oh, yeah. then seal it. Snoop Dogg should do that. There it is. That's oh, actually, great yeah, that's idea. actually a great idea. Genius. Mm-hmm. Snoop Dogg, if you're listening, mm-hmm. do just it. To write this shit you know, down. he's a big fan. Snoop Dogg of us. It's yeah, he funny. watches the pod. He does. He, he's big time. He was. Yeah, Wait, he, for real? Oh, he does. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Mm-hmm. What do you say? The quote was like, "Man, no mother, no crackers, man, they crazy." He said, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was a yeah, great impression. Yeah. It was. Yeah. It was actually our banner on YouTube for mm-hmm. a while. Yo, man, those crackers are crazy. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. We're not actually positive crazy. he was talking about us. Yeah, exactly. It, but anyone. It, it just, no, he was. <laughs> we yeah. assumed it was us. In this, in this world, he was. Leo's, Leo's not really a cracker. I, I refer mm. to him more as like a pendejo. Oh, I'm a pendejo? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That is a, that is a Mexican slang term, meaning like dumbass. Basically. I thought he was so a thank sweaty, you. cheesy dick to wop. He's that too. He's, he's like, <laughs> Leo's no Italian and South American. And I, uh, he's uncircumcised, so a lot of penis. yeast. Aww, could have it. What's up? Hood, the hooded bandit. It's Another not hooded. Well, see, the, uh, a lot of uncircumcised penises that you see in porn or anywhere, I suppose, have the skin where it's like permanently over the head. Yeah, which is weird. Mm-hmm. Mine, when hard, looks exactly the same as a regular uncircumcised penis. Oh, so it penis. peels itself back. It, it peels does itself the work back. for you. It does the wow. work yeah, for me. So you just have a, a, a built-in it's case like a, for the tip of your cock. Exactly, to keep it sensitive it's so beautiful. I can ejaculate from any blowjob in two and a half minutes. Okay. You know? They, need, they have a zipper issue. Oh, uh, you guys are so... So lovely. Leo's eyes. He just wanted look at Mr. Robinson's outfit right now, Danny boy. He wanted the beady eyes. No, no, you can leave. Miss Robinson, if you feel comfortable, uh, you don't need to zip that up. Miss Robinson, come in. Let's see what you're wearing. Let's see. Yeah, that is wow. Miss Robinson's cleavage is on display. Oh wow. We see your chest. She's wearing what looks like a slutty wetsuit, Mm -hmm. and it'll keep her warm should she fall in the Pacific, and it'll give our audience boners when she comes back to the couch. That's right. So really, all is well, and here's what I'm saying. Absolutely. It's not bad for what it is, is what she's saying. So there, wow. Leo is, his cheesy Italian penis is stirring. <laughs> <laughs> it's not cheesy. Um, but yeah, that's great. You could, Leo, you could, if, if something you were eating tasted a little bland. Hmm. Say, oh, yeah? Yeah, you could just, just cock smack a piece of that bread. That is disgusting, <laughs> dude. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Leo, you, if you had a cheese, Stop it. it. it you, oh, stop it, Cock smacking cheese it could be this. a side hustle of yours. Oh, stop it. It would give That's them some additional flavor. Stop. No. <laughs> I have a clean smack of cheese. I shower daily, multiple times a day. It's all fine. And I'm a swimmer too now. All right? I'm extra swim. clean. I swam this morning. You would sink the moment you hit water. I am the f- I'm a, such a good swimmer, my, my man. You, where do you, well, you swim? you got to see me. At the pool that is a saltwater heated pool that happens to be at Park La Brea. Park La Brea. Oh, I love that Evian bottle. Is it sparkling bottle. water? No, it's just regular. It's still, I love, it's I love a good uh, high quality water. That's one of my favorite things out there. Fiji, I like Fiji. I like the, I'm not going to lie, I go to the Air One, that really douchey, expensive market, and I buy their water. It's from Shasta, California, and it's apparently some of the best water you can drink in the world. Let's do a blind taste. Leo looks bullshit. at me after he says that, like, yeah, fuck I know you're you, comment buddy. On it. Fuck you. And in fact, it's this one is, bottle. There's let's a bottle a, right there. Let's get a replay. Some people say it's the best water in the world. Yeah. So suck on that, Danny. Mo. I know you'd have a little comment about it. All right. You know what? Real men go on their kitchen sink. sink, and they crane their neck, and they drink. Mm. All right, you know why real men do that, Leo? Why? Because real men are interested in becoming stronger. Mm. And the bacteria present in my tap water boosts my immune system. If I were feeling motivated, I would walk right out to the L.A. River, bend and drink like the pioneers used to do. Mm. And I would be fine. I would be better oh for God. it. I don't need Air One. I don't need Evian because I'm a real man. And you... <laughs> Are a pretender oh, yeah. on a crown of lies. Hmm. You sit this. I'm I'm gonna take a sharpie and write crown of lies on your on Leo and Danny throne. chair. Yeah, wow. like Th- Th- throne of lies, not crown of lies. Sorry, throne of lies. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, either way, um, we do still have a couple of ladies that do porn on our left here. Why don't we dive deeper into their juices and? I want to hear this conversation they had with Dino outside. <laughs> What yeah, was what Dino did, trying yeah, to what, do? Did Dino try to pull his penis out or anything? No, not at all. He was perfectly respectful really? and very kind. And yeah. Mrs. Robinson, what if I told you that at some point mm. on this podcast, Dino did something very, very vile? Yeah. Miss uh, Robinson. Yeah. There was a lady standing right over there and Dino <laughs> decided that it was a good time to just spread his ass cheeks and absolutely show her the brown eye. Yeah, he showed his asshole to was a woman. Was he prompted, or was it just <laughs> no? Leo has these weird sexual fantasies with Dino, 
And oh, yeah. Anytime he wants Dino to do something funny, it consists of him presenting himself naked in front of either Leo. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what else. it is. And I think that Danny loves it anyway. But so he's on board. But the f- he looks like Borat's son, Huey Lewis. When he shows the naked pictures to the lady so at you the have house. A, you have a Huey Lewis fetish? Is it's that not a Huey Lewis fetish. It just always reminds me of he's like, <laughs> fantasy, the same body sort of. type, but it just makes me laugh. I lost my virginity to Huey Lewis in the news on the radio with oh. the power of love. Wow. It's hip to be square. Do, 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 do. But this was the smack of a guy's fucking cock. We just, we, just, sex, we just watched your daughter have so. sex, Mr. Robinson. We did. We did. All and the way to climax. You just, and we're I, not happy with Dwayne Dixon. Yeah, we just we need to, you to vet her male talent a little yeah. more closely. Because okay. yeah. this guy was huffing and puffing like a hog in a marathon. Well, I explained <laughs> that it was the second video. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This, yeah. Okay. He might have had a long night, you know, of drinking or something. No, it you said was, maybe not. It was like 1130. Yeah. And okay. I was like, we didn't do this. Miss Robinson, right, right, right. an out of shape bozo has been putting his mitts on your daughter. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. What does he do professionally again? What do we decide? Staples? Arby's. He actually he works is... for my mom's team. All right. She, he, oh, that's what so it you is. You know this guy. How is his performance in the office? Inadequate? Miss Robinson, would you let me and Danny come to your office and call him in as uh, pornography experts and vetters and we go through his tape with a laser pointer yeah and we Perhaps. tell him <laughs> we that video can that can we <laughs> hidden camera that that'd be the, the best yeah. thing in, in the history of, uh, of all time possibly. yeah absolutely oh my god be like a uh, laser pointer like you see these fat rolls here <laughs> They're vile. Get rid of them. It really uh, wouldn't take that long. The thing is, you guys watched Johnny Sins, who is the epitome of male porn star first. He's, he's America's steroids? doctor. He's America's doctor. <laughs> is he on steroids, Johnny Sins? I wouldn't say so, no. Hmm. no. It's an attainable physique if one just worked out dedicatedly. He's, pretty, he's very dedicated to working out then. Yeah, it's, yeah it, I would not say. I've seen a lot of guys on steroids. But, hmm. but yeah, no. No, he, I wouldn't even go with HGH You wouldn't like him. it? Yeah, oh, really? Yeah. So, uh, Miss Robinson, this is really curious that uh, a sex partner of your daughter works for you mm-hmm. at your company. Yes. Do you look at him differently when he shows up the day after you know he's banged your daughter? No, I don't even think about it. You never think about it. Mm-mm. Do you ever think about just calling him into the office and having your way with him? No, never. Babe, mm-hmm. Of course not, because she's not attracted to him, Leo. Well, yeah, because yeah, Dwayne I, Dixon looks like shit. I'm sorry. That uh, is. I'm he's sorry. It's the slipped. nicest guy. It slipped. I'm so sorry. And he's sorry. very smart. And it was at the beginning. My original ones are painful to watch because I had two friends who did me a solid for my original like OnlyFans um, amateur videos mm-hmm. that I did. And I bossed them around a lot because I had to. I'm like, no, this, this isn't sex. Like, we have to get this done. And here's where I need you to be. So it wasn't really enjoyable. But I had mm-hmm. about 10 sex tapes with them. And they all look like that. They all look very amateur and uncomfortable. And mm-hmm. yeah, at like the beginning. You know, I'm going to run. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm going to run something by you, Miss Robinson. If you, because you mentioned that um, talent last night pulled out last minute was not in the pass system, the gold standard for pornography STD screening. If you need talent, <laughs> these two gentlemen behind the console are both, we can guarantee clean, because they, they just don't have sex much. They don't have sex no. much. They're they're nerds. They smoke a lot of pot. They watch a lot of anime. And both <laughs> have upsettingly large penises. It's true. Definitely. Would you? She really, she, you, was, she was. Would you, would you ever though? I mean, if you she had second guesses, right? She was second guessing something on in on that when, when she said that. I mean, but they look uncomfortable. That's all. I don't like yeah. to make people uncomfortable. No, 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 no I'm not uncomfortable at all. Dino <laughs> is probably uncomfortable because he believes up, he Dino is probably uncomfortable because he has these weird ideas about the world. And one of them is that watching porn is cucking. Yeah. He no, it's and I, I respect that. Mm-hmm. I don't. I, I... <laughs> but. He also thinks it's gay in a way to want to see. Okay, this is this is the shocker, Mrs. Robinson, and maybe somebody like you can can really help him. But he <laughs> said that a double blow job if two women, one penis, is homosexual or gay. He used the word gay, and 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 that is something that is he has to stay away from because gay is easier and more funny to say than homosexual. But, but it's neither because it's neither. It is just a girl, 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 a boy, girl, girl video. It doesn't right. mean. 
like people will say to me, we want to see your lesbian porn. And I say, I don't have lesbian porn because I am not a lesbian, but I do have some girl girl stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, if they're eating each other out or doing sexual acts to to each other, it's like same sex. It's like people of the same sex, like doing sexual stuff. Like I don't see how it's not homosexual. And to at least a degree. Because homosexuality isn't defined by what sex act you're doing hmm. in my book at least in god's eyes it is maybe, in god's eyes maybe it is. with girls they're christian a little different. Different. they're they're very christian but That's... with guys if you suck a dick that one time in college you're gay for life for life Leo yeah. knows what you mean 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 what you you suck one dick I agree mm-hmm. with that. I've never seen like a porn where it's like guy guy girl and the guys suck each other off though do you know what I mean I'm sure that's something you should maybe you should exist. produce that. Have you have you, you seen the porn that. where they, the two guys go in the attic and then then they suck and right, right, right. Just one yeah. guy wears oh, a shit. beanie and stuff and I've then, heard about yeah, that. it's a weird one. Yeah, but then those guys end up getting married and then they get divorced because they're like not right. really straight. Those exactly. are those guys. Like, you know why I know the, I know a lot of those guys because they they're the guys <laughs> that get really handsy when they're like uh, on the softball team, dude. There're mm-hmm. definitely some some guys that want to come out of the closet but they don't. Mm-hmm. They spank you a little too exactly too hard. Grip it a little bit. They're always telling me how I'm handsome. I'm like Okay, yeah, Steve. It's, it's a great. It's like playing softball for a gay guy is like being a scoutmaster for a pedophile. Exactly. Yeah. Strong <laughs> opportunity, right? All those ass spanks. When did Every, that become socially acceptable to spank a guy's ass? Dude, they, I, like I, Leo, I, like you and I are pretty. Yeah. Like we hang out all the time. We're good yeah. friends. We slept in countless hotels together. Yeah. If you were like nice fucking bit, Danny, after we pulled something in Iowa, and mm. then you spanked me, <laughs> I would get my own hotel room. That it night. would be kind of weird. It, it would be, be really. Weird. It would be Why really. Say, we should start I think doing you guys that. Should to, do it just for no, no. one trip and see if it makes you feel different. What we're gonna do? They already is made do it out it. one time. Yeah, yeah that was less. We, we had a kiss. We had a kiss one time. No, what we'll Aww. do is do it to Nico it's without expo- passion. We'll do it to Nico without explaining anything. So at, on one shoot, we're just gonna slap Nico's ass <laughs> after every bit, dude. Yeah. Anything you we do a, well. <laughs> you should get a random guy to slap Nico's ass. <laughs> he can do it too. Also, yeah. He'll be everybody like, be like, why is everybody spiking my ass? Did you clear those SD cards? Yeah, Danny. You got the mic charged up. Yeah, Danny. Nice job. Fuck yeah, baby. <laughs> bam, bam. Nah. Fuck yeah. There is Bo- a smack both noise. Cheeks. <laughs> both cheeks. Yeah, that is that is funny. And a squeeze. And a huge. Uh huh. I I don't know. I was just thinking about this, but um, it seems like with with men who do something gay in uh, a moment of and, and nothing against anybody who does anything gay, but of course not. I feel like women like if you admit to your girlfriend like, hey, you know, in college I was a little confused. I had a fling with this guy named. Byron. Mm. And Byron, um dude, Byron. that sounds like a theater guy who yeah, would be like bisexual. Yeah. But like I feel like I feel like a lot of your like if I told that to my girlfriend Mia, yeah. like, hey, I had this guy Byron in 2013, me and him, we had sex. She would be off put because she would be worried that somewhere down the line yes. I was gonna go back to men. For sure. Women, that's a completely rational fear, despite what like the far left would want to say about that. They'd be like, no. Your freak flag fly. It doesn't matter. It sort of does matter for most women who want to start a family. I think there should be some sort of remedial process one can undertake to reclaim straightness. Sort of like punching license plates in prison. I like that. I think you're right. I think I think if you punch like no more cock into twenty thousand license plates in a California state penitentiary, you're straight again. You're straight again, yeah. Absolutely. Can we all agree on that, Miss Robinson? Absolutely. I'm worried. I'm spitballing here. I don't no, know. No, if that no. I'm with out. it. I'm. I'm definitely with it. I am so pleasantly surprised how much I've adored all of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, especially wow, you, Ms. Danny. Ro- really, you're so sweet. Hey, you hear that? Especially, especially me. Yeah, Miss Robinson. Especially Danny, because I didn't expect to. I was. Right. Just, I expected to be extremely offended, and I had been practicing my <laughs> offended face and just. He's, uh, he's that, that's, much... that's her offended face. Like she just ate a warhead. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, I I did want to ask something that you mentioned uh, earlier that you've never done anal. No. Right. Mm-hmm. And so what stopped you and uh, you do plan on doing it for yeah. the first time on I video? Oh, this is my cue. Ah. Well, they wanted to raffle off my first Danny, my anal virginity. put your pants back on. <laughs> what are you doing? It's my cue. I thought Stop I was, it. I thought I was going to have sex with her butt now. Stop uh, it. No. Put your pants back uh, on. Um, I, are you a, crazy? We can do a Roethlisberger role play. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that, that definitely won't be consensual. That's put your be. pants back on. We do have a nice little bathroom right yeah, there. Yeah, well, I can just, it's kick, it's I can just kick the door off its hinges. It's a little like dirty right now. Tile. It's a little dirty. Um, 
Yeah, there was talk about raffling off my anal virginity. No. At one point, and I'm like, yeah, no, I don't, I'm not into that. So I have. I, I like that idea. Look at Dino's I love right that. Dino. Yeah, monetize Look it. at Dino right so now. Fun. Mol- it got Dino. It, dude, she just it got D- Dino has a boner right now. Uh, Miss Miss Robinson, oh, God. if yeah. you does, okay, Miss Robinson, if Ew. You, can All we right. promise right now if you raffle off your anal virginity, we'll make it a part of our channel. It'll be mm-hmm. a main channel video, okay. and it will drive so much gosh darn traffic to your, to only your fans. only fans it'll okay. be nuts. it'll be insane all right i it, think you'd I'd, I'd willing to venture you'd get fifty thousand of our fans to sign up it would be okay. it, it would be insane it would be insane for you not to integrate the raffle okay. with our channel and when nobody's I'm gonna ready. and nobody's gonna do it in a video that's gonna be a, a very c- hilarious and tasteful video yeah. nonetheless i need a small one i have an extremely tight butthole okay um and my anatomy is very um i see you over there <laughs> danny danny's um, ready to go <laughs> yeah danny danny would be the only choice in this room like on, i have an issue with even cream pies yeah because she doesn't take a uh, cheese dicks up the butt either you just Australia. you <laughs> son of a bitch i don't have a cheese dick um my my anatomy, even when I get a cream pie, I have to be in a certain position because I'm everything's all like um, inverted or something. I don't know mm. whatever it is, but my butthole's so tiny, it's like almost braided shut. And so wow. I've done, I've double penetrated myself with my <laughs> finger, but it hurts so badly. And I've done the whole anal training, and mm. I'm like, fuck this, I'm out. I'm anal, not. I'm did not ready. Caesar for Milan, it. help you with that? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> spray yeah. bottle rolled up newspaper oh my god <laughs> yeah i tried it have you tried uh the butt plugs the whole nine hmm. yeah hmm. i'll get there though okay i'll get there. well miss robinson i would love to be a part of that we were talking about having a leo and danny show live in vegas yes in march sometime maybe Sweet. would you want to come out to vegas and um fucking you know get ass fucked Jesus. i don't know if i'll be ready in march hmm. but when i am ready i will commit to doing it on your show what yes what, what is it? thank you She's so much to doing it on our show. but what does it take to get ready is it purely physical or is no, there it's a mental? all mental it's everything i do is mental <laughs> you so, have to find the right penis too the uh, the the very average penis i need a very average small penis small, small penis. so we have a guy mm-hmm. i'm not going to say his name so as to not embarrass we're him. we're going to give him this you were really going to give him this he oh, doesn't deserve it i forgot it's a raffle too we can rig the raffle we can For, rig the raffle so that a right. certain so then a certain, um, I'm not going to say who. He's got the right size. Absolutely. Okay. It, it could be Rat Dick Ralph. We, oh my you know God. Rat Dick Ralph? What if we just load Rat Dick Ralph up on acid? Oh Is he my homeless? God. Basically. He's basically, uh, <laughs> he, he has, you know, he, he doesn't clean up after his dogs. They just kind of go in his apartment and stuff. But he's a good guy. He pees in bottles. But he's fine. He's fine. Big jugs of piss. Yeah. I respect the bottle pee, though, especially on a long ride. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. It's... Not just sitting here, though. What about the long walk from your bedroom to the bathroom? Yeah, that's a good reason for to months. pee in a bottle for me. I had an ex who used to pee out his bedroom window, and there would be pee icicles. That's mm. gross. The same one who liked the gravy baster up his ass. That was the gravy, gravy baster yeah. up his yeah. ass. You would never know that it was him. What did he like to wow. get based with? Um, almost boiling water. What oh. the fuck? <laughs> Why are there so many crazy guys out there, man? I know, man. It scares me, Leo. If any of you are are, are poopy diaper guys, could you comment <laughs> below? I want to know. Also, if you're turkey baster up the ass guy, comment below. If you're Watch the key, the mad in, if you're the key in the penis guy, don't fucking comment. I don't even want to fucking know. You know, I think of myself as a guy who's been through the ringer sexually, Leo. Of course. Mr. Robinson, just to reiterate, I've double vaginal a girl with my good buddy Adam Fu. He put his, the same penis in the same hole. And... Amber, oh, penises, Amber penises, your eyes just lit up. You like that, huh? You, not that you thought of a video idea. You're she's interested a, in it. She's a businesswoman. That, I saw the video idea. So like, but like, so that's not gay. No, it's a little what, gay. I, I I think um uh, he doesn't care. I, I no? think I no. think the intent is. Oh, that's fair. The intent. The intent humor. is like is basically comedy. Yeah, comedy. Okay. It becomes a twin pairing of comedy and hooking up with a chick. Like mm-hmm. a funny fuck. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Whereas okay. if you hook up with a guy behind the stage mm-hmm. of your high school musical, that's that is little... just it, the point is like a kiss. A quick it's definitely kiss more gay to blow a guy sides. than to do that. A hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. So I I don't think it was gay, and no, I think it was fucking classic. I think <laughs> it, there's a couple almost. of things happened. I think Danny uh, his parents didn't talk about sex too much. It, was, it became taboo. Then also his first experience sexually was a double team. Yeah. So then that nice. from then on he kind of correlated sex with like their names were Ted and Bryce. <laughs> They, uh, he correlated sex with like humor, and then that's why the yeah. double vaginal 
yeah. is, my, is probably not gay for him. Yeah, for I him. get it. I, I would agree. For but him, but him. the original point I was making is I've done the double vaginal, but I've never really fantasized about anything more racy than, say, like me getting blown while a chick licks my ass yeah. or getting pounded by a strap on by yeah. a chick with like uh, hey, do, watermelon sized fake tits. You're down with the peg. Oh, yeah. I've been looking for someone to peg. Oh, well, can you please peg Danny Mullen for a video. He <laughs> doesn't talk to my girlfriend. I mean, it might not be entirely off limits if, because your girlfriend's smoking there. smoking hot. Can do a oh, three-way uh, video. Oh, yeah. my God. Can they you, could pig roast you. Danny, that is... Pig roast me. Yeah. Oh, my... I'm a man of power, Amber. Yeah, I cannot be degraded <laughs> like this. Uh, Dottie, uh, you know, Inland Iggy's girlfriend, told me this. I'm going to warn you. Once you do anything pornographic with your girlfriend, though, it is, it is like basically drinking each other's blood you're with you're together forever in many ways so make sure that you're ready yeah, well be careful amber because you don't want to be wed to dwight shitface whatever his name is oh Dwayne my dixon God. Dwayne, Dwayne, Dixon. Dwayne, dwayne shitface let's call him dwight shitface <laughs> dwayne his shitface. name from now on i'm sorry amber i'm so sorry it's dwight shitface it's um uh, my this has been an we, screw, funny. we say stupid stuff Dude, this episode we don't know this control. guy we don't know this guy at all it could be just he is amazing and he's smart and talented and a graphic designer by trade and this he's guy's wonderful great metric. we he's probably really, need he him he would think he, he would think this is funny he listens to another podcast um which one uh come town oh, okay. oh yeah so he has good taste he yeah. would like us yeah, yeah. He probably he would. he's gonna laugh he would this, definitely so. like us come town's a good podcast i want to know if you guys are surprised were you expecting to like just two hoes just to walk in and have us be like totally trashy uh, and you're surprised I, that we're I'm going to say that you honest both of you remind me of girls from like Los Angeles the Valley specifically that where I grew up you're you're you kind of even talk like a Valley girl Miss Robinson are you kidding I swear did uh, Leo ever mention that his dad didn't give him much attention as he grew up Aww. I uh yeah my father was really hard on me and uh you know he kind of I felt like the only way to get love from my father was to play baseball well. And yeah. when I would do badly, I felt like he didn't love me. And I felt like when I stopped playing baseball and didn't make it to the major leagues, it meant that he didn't love me. Mm -hmm. So I, Which is, uh, it sucks because I they're, understand that yeah. their relationships ruptured and it's, it's sad because you know, they're both going to die someday. Yeah. It's uh, is life this a real is, right now. No, 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 no. Like, <laughs> okay. I just, uh, it's we, I'm so empathetic. The, I want to, yeah, we were both it's, like it's the working. Verge of tears. <laughs> it's <laughs> working. <laughs> <laughs> the song story always works. And we get, you know, the life is, you know, look, I just, at the end of the day, you got to think sometimes, you know me we get deep on this podcast but life is it's finite you know and <laughs> i don't know about you i'm gonna live forever okay. that's right no. there we go <laughs> gotta get like robot arms and yeah. organs when they when they, they, they develop the through. organs that are robotic we might be able to live forever. robot porn perfect yeah, yeah. yeah. but uh but yeah miss robinson you know i don't know if you have time but if you wanted to grab dinner or something you know before you get out of town uh, you know, I have I know some good Italian spots. Mm, I love Italian. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we'll have time this trip, but I will take a rain check for sure. Sounds good. Yeah. I mean that. I you don't say what I don't mean. His, she doesn't uh, say what she doesn't mean. So you just got rejected, and it's probably good. No, he didn't. I, I would be honest. I <sighs> would say so, no. We're so busy. We're so transparent too. I would mm -hmm. say I don't think so. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I would. I would love to go to dinner with you. Sounds we're good. just double and triple booked. Mm -hmm. We have to be out of so here. So Dino two. wanted to have dinner with you. What would you? Dino doesn't want to. That's not true. I talked to him. He has Dino. literally no interest in me whatsoever. <laughs> he would, um, dinner would be, you guys would go into his parents' pantry and he'd hand you a pack of fruit gushers. Yeah. yeah. Or Maybe canyon. He, might, he <laughs> might be able to use the microwave and get you like a hot pocket. Like he might, he might be able to do that. <laughs> Probably not. I'll give you my sure. hot pocket. Right. Yeah. 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 I, I would, if you gave Dino your hot pocket, I don't, it'd be, he'd have to pray for forgiveness the next podcast episode. Right, Dino? I'm just con confused because I'm usually packing the fruit snacks and juice boxes. Yeah, I like. That. Oh, I love I it. Like Mother that. daughter porn. With can we have? Like, I'll play. Can I? Let's go back to T-ball. You want to be the the team mom? Bring yeah. out the, the orange slices. Absolutely. Ooh. We got a lot of good porns here. A lot of them revolve around baseball fields. Listen, too. I I hope that you are able to be part of the the universe that we've created here because you are an asset. Yeah. In many Thank more, you. and so are you, Amber Blake. Thank like you. your this team that we're looking at right yep. here. You guys need to be synonymous with the, the Danny Mullen channel as well. And uh, Miss Robinson, if you want to raffle off your anal virginity okay. and the channel promote it, the all we want to do is be there. Okay. We, we don't need any. We're not trying to get a cut. No finances. We just want to cover this event. We're going to cover watch it. We're going to oh, cover yes. it. As a, okay. yeah, yes. we're, we'll cover it like a, like we're you're it's a documentary about you. 
Will Almost. you be giving me instructions as I'm doing it? Sure. Instructions. We sure. just, I want to have like one of our minions wearing a tuxedo to pull the ball out of the hopper. Mm -hmm. I want a crowd of people who have entered. Mm -hmm. I just, I want to turn it into a video that'll in turn be promotion for your OnlyFans. Absolutely. You keep all the I'm money. In. We just want the content because yeah. it'll I'll, be a huge promotion. And we'll do it in Vegas video. with and the podcast. We have to do it in okay. Vegas. Oh my God. This all is right. huge. Oh, it's big, Leo. Well, uh, we'll get your, I mean, yeah, I have information and obviously you'll, you can just keep in touch. Okay, because yeah, you're for sure. Phenomenal. I might even have some questions about, you okay. know, finances or just general yeah, general well being. D don't Health. open any of his Snapchats though. Health, <laughs> you know. A dick pic. What right. whatever. Okay. Whatever you need. Whatever you need, Miss Robinson. Sounds good. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. I think it'll be fun. He might I'm ready to do it. You guys are it. He might drop you a pin to like mm -hmm. a Home Depot parking lot. Parking lot. Mm -hmm. That's a thing. Get I, some uh, wood. Yeah, it's like a get it's some a, wood. It's a <laughs> it's a thing that I like to do parking lots. Um, but yeah, either way, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. For your Thanks time for today. having us. Thanks for fun. Yeah, yeah. 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 Got to make sure you guys got a shoot or something. You guys got to get to right. We do. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have to change too for it. Yeah, that's okay. Are yeah. you guys cool with us changing? No, no, no. You could definitely change wherever you may okay. want. Do you, um, Miss Robinson? I do you want to? Um, I don't. I don't know if the, how this would work, but if uh, would she change like in here? No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. Can I plug asked. my? Can I? I plug my OnlyFans Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. If you guys go to OnlyFans.com with a backslash Mrs. Robinson VIP and you mention the show, I'll give you a free sex tape. See, this is the I. I just didn't want to end the podcast with me sounding like the biggest creep on the planet. I was mm -hmm. thinking maybe she, like, if she took her top <laughs> off, it would yeah, be yeah. like for our Patreon, we'd get sure. a couple boobies. Yeah. And then, right, like, right. Right. Yeah. But. We talked about it ahead of time. No. And we're not gonna, with the two of us here. We're not going to switch rooms. And gotcha. there's some other things that we're yeah we're not gonna do it next okay. time. All right. Well, yeah, no, titties, no worries. Sorry. Okay. No worries. Well, hopefully, yeah, hopefully the somebody will. There'll be an anal video. Too. Yeah. Shout out your. Uh, yeah. Your the same deal that she just said applies yeah. to my page as well. It's Amber Blake dot fans. Gotcha. Cool. Nice. All right. All right ladies. Yeah. Mention the show. Free. Did we didn't have an ad today or anything? Oh, well, I'm gonna go check my schedule. Sure. But, but we we can do it solo. Yeah. Of course. But ladies, that was awesome. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you for so much. You guys are awesome. No, you guys are awesome. Seriously. Thank you.